what's up with a happy Roblox family. pretty good though maybe it's not as cold out as i think it is oh no it's freezing oh totally molly but that's okay we can always find something fun to do inside yeah like your donuts molly it's a new year it could be a new year new you blah 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 i like the old me well um the old you wears terrible outfits and um eats way too many donuts so judgy, this one. Listen, I like Molly just the way she is. If you don't, that's your problem, girlfriend. Well, I'm just saying, I think you'd be really, really helped out by my new TikTok idea. You have TikTok? Well, not yet, but I'm going to sign up. It's called New Year, New You. Oh, like I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, but it's all about, like, having great fashion, um, even cooking healthy meals well pretty soon in about a week you can turn your tiktok channel to eating terrible meals for beginners or for advanced people because basically everybody in the new year wants to be healthy and whatever for like a week and then they just decide nah, and they eat all the donuts <laughs> i just skip all that and just keep eating the donuts molly seriously stop eating that donut i'm gonna make an amazing tiktok now stay out of the kitchen and don't interrupt my healthy cooking TikTok. Yeah, okay, whatever. She gone. Hey, back to eating a delicious donut. As you can see here, I'm making a delicious apple that's baked in the oven. Super delicious and good for you. Hey, I'm Molly, her slob of a sister. I dress bad and I eat way too many donuts. Molly, get out of my TikTok. <laughs> I'm pushing send. <laughs> it's uploaded on your TikTok. Nah, 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 nah. Molly, how could you? Wait a minute. I've already got 10 likes on that. Wait, what? They think that we're funny together? Yeah, you're funny looking. Molly, rude. Oh my God, now we have a thousand people liking it. Oh my God, Molly, it went up to 50,000. What? It's been like 30 seconds. Hmm. I'm getting more TikTok subscribers before I even finish this donut. Ugh, okay, now I got a little bit of a stomach ache. And these pants are getting a little tight. Molly, we're going to be TikTok famous. So TikTok fans, if you want to have these adorable pigtails like I have, you just have to brush your hair exactly like this. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. <laughs> Molly, I'm making a TikTok. What do you want? I need to use the potty! Seriously, Molly? Well, I guess it's TikTok gold. Well, whatever, but get out! Okay, TikTok fans, I'm going to show you how to get your beach body just in time for spring break. That's why right, let's start off with some jumping jacks in this new year, new you. Um, you could do all that. Or you could say whatever and sit on your couch and eat lots of donuts. Till your pants don't fit. Till your stomach explodes. Sounds like the good life to me. Molly, you could have put another TikTok. Ha ha ha. I don't think I'm ruining them. Everybody loves my personality. Holy guacamole. Macaroni and cheese. Hot dogs with ketchup. Yeah, Molly, we get the point. Food, food, and food. I can't believe that our TikTok has 1.5 billion people that are our fans. I know, right? This is amazing. We should go celebrate with um food. Molly, no. New Year, New You is all about healthy choices. 
And we could do something like yoga as a celebration. Is my sister kidding me right now? Like, seriously? Yoga? No, girl. You earned this. We're going for an ice cream. Well, they do have the frozen yogurt option, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Daisy, life is about balance. Sometimes that balance means eating ice cream. Don't be such an income poop. Molly! I'm just saying, sometimes you just really need to have an ice cream. And girl, you need one. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. What can I get for you? I don't have a scoop of everything. Molly, new you, new you. You mean new year, new you? Yeah, whatever. Get one scoop, Molly. Wow, who knew you were so bossy? Well, I am a health guru now. TikTok even said so. Oh, my God. It's Molly and Daisy. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. I have to go say hi to them. Did you just hear that? I think that girl knows who we are. Nah, it must be a different Molly and Daisy. We're not that famous. Hey, guys. It's Sarah. Welcome to my TikTok. And I'm here with Molly and Daisy. And hey, we didn't agree to be on your TikTok. Molly, come on. She's a fan. Don't be rude. Okay, well, she should have asked permission first. I, 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 I don't even look my best. Molly, you always look like that. Okay, but all right. She has a point. OMG, I can't believe it. This is amazing. What? You guys are famous and you're here at my at my ice cream shop? Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Um, yeah, we really are that famous, Daisy. Yeah, I realized that. Aren't you excited? New Year, New You on TikTok is doing amazing. It's blowing up. But Molly, everybody knows who we are everywhere now. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, me too. And I want a picture. And can you be in my YouTube video? And and also, can you come home and um just like sign my cat? I'm gonna sign your cat. Oh, it's it's a cat that doesn't have any fur, so you could use a sharpie. No, I'm not gonna sign the cat. Hi, hi, hi. I just want my ice cream, and and I want to just go sit down. Daisy, are you okay? You seem like you're freaking out about being a celebrity. Because Molly, I am. But you wanted New Year, New You on TikTok. Yeah, but now that I got fame, I want to give it back. Come on, Molly. Let's just go home and hide out. Good idea if you don't want to be famous, which I kind of do. No, Molly, I'm telling you. I can always see into the future. Wait, you can't? Are you some sort of like magical human or something? No, I'm just really smart. And this, this isn't going to go well at all. Well, if you say so. I think being famous is amazing. Finally, home sweet home. No people talking about how famous we are or anything. Yeah, but seriously, don't you want to be famous? I don't know, Molly. Seems kind of crazy to just go places and everybody recognizes you. What if I had ice cream on my face during that girl's TikTok? Well, you could be like me and don't care. I'm meeting a donor right now. And I don't really care if anybody sees. Hi, um, I didn't get a picture with you guys, and so I followed you home. What? You can't follow us home. That's wrong and rude. <laughs> ha, ha, achoo! Ew, Molly, cover your nose. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to sneeze. Achoo! Molly, did you get sick? I don't know, maybe that fan had a cold, and she got super close to me and gave it to me. Ew, germs! Well, I think you better get used to it, because it seems like we're going to be mobbed by fans from here on out, we need a security camera. And maybe a fence. Whoa. What's that? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's someone who looks just like me because they saw my videos about how to do pigtails. Hey, I love you. I want to be just like you. <laughs> oh, my God. That's achoo! creepy. Uh, one of the fans definitely got me sick. I don't feel so good. Ugh. Molly, do you want a donut? Maybe it'll make you feel better. No, I don't want a donut. Now I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh -oh. Whoa, she really is sick. If going to eat a donut's going to make her throw up. Ugh. Did you see that TikTok where Molly was like, don't work out. Just like hang out and eat on the couch. And <laughs> shove your face full of donuts. Yeah, I totally loved that one. It was hilarious. <laughs> we could be BFFs since we're such Molly and Daisy fans. I don't feel so good. Am I truly? I don't know. I'm too busy over here vegging on the couch. 
Have a breaking story the new famous tiktokers molly and daisy are very sick if you like reality tv you're gonna love this one watch them puke watch them sneeze snot everywhere watch them run to the potty are you serious get out of our house this one's obviously rude in real life i don't know if you should like her oh uh, maybe unsubscribe what don't tell people that rude get out molly there's only one thing left to do Run! I don't know if I can run. I gotta go potty! Oh, hello, adoring fans. It's me, Bruce Springer. Get out of the way, Bruce. I just want to be your friend. Come back, Molly. Come on. We could be BFFs. Get away from me, crazy Daisy wannabe. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. Come on. I could build a house right next door to you. It would be so much fun, right? No, stay away from me. Hurry, Molly, come down here into my science lab. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this, but I've been working on a new project. Is it quitting TikTok? Well, no, I mean, we're already famous at TikTok. Kind of hard to go back now, but I have a solution. Well, I hope it's a good one. Ha, ha, choo! Because I don't feel good, and I don't want Bruce Springer, like, putting me on the news when I'm sick. Achoo! Come here, Molly. I want to show you something. What is that? A giant person made out of jello? Sort of, Molly. I haven't quite finished programming it yet. But in a moment's time, you'll see what I'm up to. I don't know, Daisy. This seems a little like weird science to me. Uh, Daisy, I think you're cooking your jello, man. Don't worry, Molly, that th this is going to work. It just has to. Holy macaroni and cheese! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a clone! That's right, Molly. And I'm making one for you, too. Which means next time, when someone thinks it's us, it won't be us at all. It'll be our clone. Watch this. Hey, Daisy Clone. Hey, I just want to let you know, you guys are the best fans in the whole world. See? Daisy Clone is amazing. I had to sit down for a minute. I'm a little lightheaded about how awesome I am to design this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Daisy. Hi, hi. I'm your biggest fan. I'm even wearing Daisy pants because, you know, your name is Daisy, just like the flower. And oh my God, where's Molly? Hi, you're the nicest fans in the world. I love you. Whoa, she said she loved us. Did you hear that? I totally did. Oh my God, that's amazing. So, um, will you sign an autograph? Sure, I'll sign an autograph. You're the most amazing fans in the world. I love you. Holy guacamole! The Daisy clone is working! Now we just need a clone of me, and it's all smooth sailing. <laughs> Brookhaven mini movie, Daisy is a famous YouTuber and Molly is famous on TikTok. But when their old high school crush comes to town, which one will win him over for a date? Daisy makes a glamorous YouTube video to show Luke he should date her. And Molly makes a TikTok video to win his love. But which one will he choose? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. Okay, Daisy, are are you ready to roll? Totally! I can't wait to make this next YouTube video. I mean, I've never gotten sick of YouTube, even though I've been making videos since I was a kid. Well, I'm glad you have such a dedication. I mean, your fans just love you. Yeah, I know. I have the best fans in the world. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Star Squad fans, it's Day C. Today I'm doing a day in the life, and I'm at the ice cream shop because, duh, you have to start your day with ice cream. Who doesn't want to start their day with ice cream? So, fans, let me know in the comment section below. Should I choose chocolate, vanilla, birthday cake, bubble gum, or mint chip? Oh, they all sound delicious. I can't even decide right now. Like, maybe I should just have a scoop of each. What do you guys think? Slam the like button if I should have a scoop of every ice cream there was. This is YouTube gold, Daisy. Keep going. I love chocolate. Chocolate's one of my favorite. Mm. 
so delicious. So guys, this isn't a paid promotion or anything, but go down to Brookhaven Ice Cream Shop. You won't be sorry. It's my favorite ice cream store for wheels. Hello, this is Daisy. Hey, Daisy, it's Luke. Long time no see. Tell me about it, Luke. Oh my gosh, what's it been? Like 10 years? You still have my phone number? Yeah, I still have your phone number, and um, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to get together. Oh, Luke, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be in New York City anytime soon. I'm very busy with my career right now. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to be in Brookhaven a little later today and for the entire weekend. Really? Oh, wow, I'd love to see you. That's amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd love to see you too, Daisy. Why don't we meet at the Brookhaven Diner about 2 o'clock? Sounds great, Luke. I'll see you there. Okay, looking forward to it, Daisy. Me too. Did you hear that, YouTube fans? I'm going to see my long-lost friend, Luke, today at 2 o'clock. Cameraman, can you be there? Absolutely. This is YouTube gold. I know, right? This day in the life is turning out to be pretty interesting. OMG, this is going to be one of the coolest TikToks I have ever made. I got permission to stand on top of the police station and I have the helicopter in the background. I'm going to do my best dance ever. So this is going to be super cool. I cannot wait to share this with my TikTok fans. TikTok I've ever recorded. Hello, this is Molly. What can I do for you? Hey, Molly. It's, um, your old friend, Luke. Whoa, Luke! It's been so long since I've talked to you. How are you? How's New York City? I miss seeing you. Oh, I miss seeing you too, Molly. New York's good. My career's just been really busy and stuff, you know. Mine too. <laughs> I have so much to tell you about my career. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> well, anyway, I, I, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out with me. Really? I'd love to hang out with you. Where? In New York? No, I'm going to be home in Brookhaven today. OMG! Yeah, let's get together. Okay, I was thinking we could meet at the Brookhaven Diner about 2 o'clock. Sounds great. I'll be there. Okay, can't wait to see you. Me either, Luke. Me either. OMG! Luke's going to be in Brookhaven today. I have to make a TikTok about this. I have to make a TikTok. I'm here. The diner, finally. Daisy? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Molly? N I I'm going in first. I I I'm here to see somebody. I'm here to see somebody, too. Oh, I see you're still doing that silly TikTok thing. I see you're still doing YouTube. That's so yesterday. Oh, well, really? I think I have more f subscribers and fans than you ever will on TikTok. That's not true. I have tons of fans on TikTok. Hey, guys, I'm over here. Luke! Wow! You look so good and so different. Wait, you're here to see Luke? I'm here to see Luke. I'm here to see Luke, too. Daisy, how'd you get so tall? I'm just taller than you now, duh. That's how I grew up to be, tall and beautiful and famous. Uh... Okay, if you say so. Well, I am tall and beautiful and famous. Say it, Molly. Uh, no, thank you. Whoa, this is YouTube gold. Oh, you're filming right now? That's so typical, Daisy. Yeah, whatever. My fans like to see my life, okay? I'm just being realistic. Hey, everybody. Uh, guys, what are you doing? Are we gonna have lunch? Yeah, I I'll sit next to you, Luke. Uh, what? I wanted to sit next to Luke. You both can sit by me. Luke, I thought this was just gonna be you and me. No, I wanted to see both of my friends from school. Luke. Luke, it's so great to see you. Yeah, Luke, it's really great to see you. I came to see my long-lost love. I mean, uh, my... My long-lost friend. Me too. I can't believe it. You guys look great. Thanks, Luke. Oh, wow, this is gold. Uh... What's he doing? Oh, he's filming this entire thing. Why? Luke... Don't you know who I am? Um, Daisy? My friend from school? Oh, so Daisy the famous YouTuber. What's YouTube? Seriously? Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I know what YouTube is, but I didn't know you were famous on there. Do you not watch YouTube? Um, I'm really busy with my job and stuff, and then when I'm not working, I love to be outside and, like, hanging out with my dog. Whoa, you have got a dog? That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but you know, I'm so famous, so this, this lunch should just be with 
with me. And my cameraman, of course. Yeah, your cameraman. How romantic. Whatever, Molly. Well, Daisy's not the only one that's famous. I'm famous, too. I I I'm a famous TikToker. A famous TikToker? What, do you repair clocks for a living? <laughs> How very funny. You know what TikTok is, right? It's what a clock does when it goes around. TikTok, TikTok. Talk, tick tock. Oh, brother. Luke, you've been living in a cave or under a rock or something. You really don't know what TikTok is? Not really, Molly. Sorry. See, Molly, that just proves YouTube is better. Whatever, Daisy. TikTok is the way of the future. Whoa, I'm getting this all on film. <laughs> the subscribers are going to love it. Can you turn that off, please? No way, Molly. He records my life every day. It's the Daisy Show all the time, 24 7. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, Anyway, Luke, I I'm super famous on TikTok. She so is, Luke. She just made a very popular post this morning. Check this out. Daisy, what are you showing him? Daisy? Oh, just a little bit of this. Going to see my first love. Dear loved ones, we're gathered here today for the marriage of Molly and Luke. Hoping he's going to be my forever love. Daisy, I can't believe you showed him that. Well, you showed the entire world, Molly. So what's the big secret? Oh. Uh, I'm just a little embarrassed right now, Luke. Wow, Molly. Uh, I, I didn't know you felt that way. I, I do, Luke. I, I really want to date you. I mean, we were always best friends in school, and, well, I had a really big crush on you. What? You... You did? Yeah, I always really, really liked you. And now that we're grown-ups, I thought, well, maybe we could date each other. Whoa, 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 and whoa, I don't think so. What? Why are you trying to stop this, Daisy? True love was meant to be. Uh, you're gonna get way too many fans off of this on TikTok. I need a piece of this action. Uh, Luke, how about you go on a date with me? Well, uh, I don't know. You're both my friends. I mean... What? I asked first. Go on a date with me. No. Go on a date with me. Um, okay. This is almost impossible to decide. You both are really cool and stuff. Daisy, can we please turn this camera off? No, I've decided I'm going to have a special series. How I beat my sister at getting a date with Luke. Well, actually, that's a pretty good idea. No, it's not. It's a horrible idea. Daisy, turn off the camera. Not a chance, Molly. Not a chance. Daisy! Sorry, no can do. How about you each make a video describing why you'd want to go on a date with me and once I've seen them, I'll decide who I want to take out on a date. Oh, I guess that'll work. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Okay, I'll meet you both back here in two hours. Okay, he's gonna pick me, right? Not a chance, Molly, not a chance. Cameraman, what am I gonna do? This video has to be amazing. Well, um, you could do a 24-hour uh, challenge or something. No, that's lame. He won't like that. You could do like a, uh, Daisy gets slimed for the love of Luke. Nah, that's gross. I don't want to get it in my hail. I won't look good for our date then. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any more ideas. You're the ones that normally come up with the ideas, Daisy. Wait, I've got... I live a pretty amazing life as a YouTuber. I'll just show Luke how amazing it could be to be married to a YouTuber like me. Besides, he'd be famous too because I record everything in my life so all the fans would see him. That's a great idea, Daisy. All your ideas are great. <sighs> oh, thank you so much. What was your name again? My name's Matt. I've been working for you for 10 years. You don't know my name? Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. It's just about Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. So I forget who you are sometimes. It's okay. I still love, uh, your show. Yeah, your show. Definitely just your show. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, what was your name again? Matt! Matt! Oh, sorry, Matt. It's starting to make me feel like a doormat. Okay, Mark, are we ready? Matt! My name's Nat! Matt! I'm, yeah, I can't even say my own name now. You keep forgetting it. Oh, really? It's starting to rain during my scene? Ugh. Ah, oh, this won't do. This won't do at all. Okay, we'll just have to wait till it quits raining. You know the drill. I'm Mark. Matt! Oh, please remember my name, Daisy. I think so much of you. Sorry, Matt. You remembered! Yay! There we go. That's much better. Okay, Matt. We're ready to film. You remembered my name. I'm so happy. Matt, are we going to film or what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Rolling. Hi, Luke. It's me, Daisy, and I'm about to show you where you should take me on a date. First of all, you would be a famous YouTuber, which is like amazing. 
amazing since so many people try to be famous, but they don't get to be, and you would just be automatically famous. And today, I'm also going to show you the luxury life of a YouTuber. See me right now? I'm in my bikini. I'm chilling out by the pool. I mean, by the lake. Okay, cut. I need to redo that one. Daisy, it's okay if you make a mistake. It just makes you seem human. I told you already, Mark. I want to do it this way. Okay, okay. I'll redo it. Uh, okay. Uh, see, you get to sit by the lake all day. It's so nice. Ah, feel that sunshine. Feel the fact that I'm doing no work. I'm just chilling out. Okay, Daisy, we're ready for your next scene. Okay, wait, was your name Mark or Matt? Oh, whatever you want to call me is fine, Daisy. Okay, cameraman, I'm ready. Luke, also, when you're famous and you live a YouTuber life with me, we get our own private helicopter so we can vacation anywhere we want and we can fly ourselves there. It is amazing. Come with me and have the time of your life, Luke. You can do this, Luke. You can choose me and you can have the best life you've ever dreamt of. You also can have awesome ice cream anytime you want. Oh my gosh, are you Daisy the famous YouTuber? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can have any ice cream you want for free. See, Luke, you can have any ice cream you want for free. The perks of being with a YouTuber, obviously. Can I have your autograph? Oh my gosh, I love you. Of course you can have my autograph. Just let me eat my ice cream first, okay? Okay, but then maybe could you give me an autograph for my little sister too? She loves you. Absolutely. Autographs for everyone. So as you can see, Luke, this is absolutely why you should pick me, Daisy, to be your dream date. And maybe marry me someday, of course. But definitely get me a lot more subscribers because we'll film the entire date day. It'll be amazing. Yeah. So pick Daisy. Pick Daisy. Oh, my gosh. I hope my TikTok is good enough for, for Luke. I really want to date him. I, I, I've loved him my, my entire life life pretty much well here goes nothing hey girls <laughs> how'd the filming go it went amazing wait till you see my youtube video well wait till you see my tiktok i i, I think it came out really good sure it did molly everybody knows your quality isn't as good as mine because i have the most amazing cameraman mark uh daisy i think your cameraman's name is matt Thank you, Molly. I'm glad someone knows my actual name. I just call him Cameraman. It's easier. Watch mine first, Luke. You're not even gonna wanna watch Molly's after you see mine. Daisy, woo! Um, okay, so, uh, I uploaded it to YouTube. All you have to do is give him your tablet and he can watch it on there. Okay, here you go, Luke. Okay, well, I can't wait to see what you did, Daisy. You're gonna love it. Hi, Luke, it's me, Daisy, and I'm about to show you where you should take me on a date. First of all, you would be a famous YouTuber, which is, like, amazing since so many people try to be famous, but they don't get to be, and you would just be automatically famous. And today, I'm also going to show you the luxury life of a YouTuber. See me right now? I'm in my bikini. I'm chilling out by the pool. See, you get to sit by the lake all day. It's so nice. Ah, feel that sunshine. Feel the fact that I'm doing no work. I'm just chilling out. Luke, also, when you're famous and you live a YouTuber life with me, we get our own private helicopter so we can vacation anywhere we want and we can fly ourselves there. It is amazing. Come with me and have the time of your life, Luke. You can do this, Luke. You can choose me and you can have the best life you've ever dreamt of. You also can have awesome ice cream anytime you want. Oh my gosh, are you Daisy the famous YouTuber? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can have any ice cream you want for free. See, Luke, you can have any ice cream you want for free. The perks of being with a YouTuber, obviously. Can I have your autograph? Oh my gosh, I love you. Of course, you can have my autograph. Just let me eat my ice cream first, okay? Okay, but then maybe could you give me an autograph for my little sister too? She loves you. Absolutely. Autographs for everyone. So as you can see, Luke, this is absolutely why you should pick me, Daisy, to be your dream date. And maybe marry me someday, of course. But definitely get me a lot more subscribers because we'll film the entire date day. It'll be amazing. Yeah. So pick Daisy. Pick Daisy. Wow, Daisy, uh, you live a pretty glamorous life. I know, right? So you should definitely pick me. Um, he still has to see my TikTok? Here you go, Luke. 
here's my TikTok. It's it's not much, but I hope you like it. Okay, Molly. Well, let's see it. Hey, Luke. It's Molly. I was going to do a really fancy, awesome TikTok, but I couldn't really think of anything to impress you. I don't want to just impress you. I want to tell you how I really feel. I've liked you since high school. You've been my best friend. And I can't think of anyone else I should date more than you because you make me laugh. You make me smile. You give me a hug when I feel sad. And you always cheer me on. I feel like we're just meant for each other. But... If you don't think I'm meant for you, I'll still be happy for you because that's what friends do. Okay, bye. Wow, Molly, I can tell you really put your heart into that. What? That was a pile of garbage. She didn't put any effort into that at all. Where's the special effects? Where's the cool scenery? She had a motel in the background. Gross. Well, I, I, I didn't need any special effects or scenery. It was just all about my heart. Um, uh, I'm really sorry to say this, Daisy, but... I I have to pick Molly. What? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? This is a prank for the channel? Oh, you're hilarious. I love what you did there, Luke. No, it's it's not a prank. I really do have feelings for Molly. And apparently she does for me, too. What? Oh, my gosh. Cut, cut the filming. No, turn off the camera, Mark or Matt or whatever your name is. Oh, uh, Daisy, I can't. It's a live stream. What? You did a live stream? I thought it would be good for ratings. Oh! Oh my god, this is so embarrassing! I have to get out of here! Ah! Well, <laughs> I guess you two will live happily ever after. I don't know if this will give Daisy good ratings, but it'll def definitely give Molly some. Luke, I'm so glad that we decided to go on a date. Me too, Molly. Where should we go? It doesn't matter, Luke, as long as we're together. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tongue-tied. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything, Luke, as long as we're hanging out together. Wow. This is gold. Hey, do you need a cameraman? I mean, you actually remembered my name. Nah, I think perhaps you're perfect for Daisy. OMG, I'm so excited because today I'm playing Fashion Famous. I love this game. It's so much fun. And I think I'm pretty much the best at it ever. Um, no, you're not. Who said that? Who's there? Who's there? Um, me. Sarah, what are you doing here? Um, I just came to play Fashion Famous because I'm the very best Fashion Famous player ever. Uh, no, you're not. I've won like 11 games. Well, I've totally won more than you. Um, somehow I don't think that's true, Sarah. It is true. Are you saying that I'm a liar right now? Um, well, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, like, I'm really good at Fashion Famous. I mean, I guess you could be really good at Fashion Famous, too. Um, no, there's only one of us that can be good at it, and that's me. Okay, well, no, because I'm super good at Fashion Famous. All right, if you want to say that, then I'll say that we can have a bet. Uh, what are you talking about, Sarah? I mean that basically if I win the next round, I get to choose your outfit. You mean if you score higher than me, you get to choose my outfit? That's right. And if I win, I get to choose yours? That's right, but you're not going to win. Uh-huh. Sure I won't. Huh. Okay, I'll take your bet. Okay, guys, the category is animal, and I'm going to have three minutes to create the best animal outfit and beat Sarah. If Sarah beats me, she gets to pick out my outfit in the next round, guys. And I know she's going to pick the ugliest outfit ever. So, basically, I don't want that to happen. So, I have to be an animal. Oh, my gosh. What animal am I going to be? Oh, I already don't know. I don't want Sarah to, to be able to pick out my clothes. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Okay, let's go see what kind of animals there are first. I don't know. I know there's, like, a penguin, but it's not really cute. So, um... Maybe I could be a butterfly. Oh, that would be amazing. I could be a butterfly. Okay, I'm going to pick these wings. Oh, I better put some, like, clothes on first. <laughs> that would be so bad. Oh, is this new? That hat is so adorable. Okay, Molly, focus, focus. Oh, there's more beautiful wings over here. Are those bear wings? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I only have 197 seconds left. Let's go pick out an outfit that would look super cute with the butterfly. Okay, that's adorable. 
Oh, this one kind of reminds me of a butterfly just because it's got like flowers on it and it's just, it's so pretty. Oh, look, there's like a unicorn. I wish I had like a unicorn um animal, but I don't think you can be a horse. That would be so cool though. Okay, I have to pick the unicorn. Even if it doesn't match, I just feel like it's so adorable. I need to wear it. Oh my gosh, it is so adorable. Okay, let's go pick out some hair. Which hair should I pick? Whoa, look at that crazy hair. No, okay, that's really pretty. Oh, I feel like this one just like, I don't know, matches the outfit. Oh, look at me, I think I look beautiful. Okay, the hair in the back is a little bit crazy. Um, yeah, like, it's a lot crazy, but uh, I'm kind of going to go with it now. Okay, let's go over here and make my hair something other than white. Because <laughs> white doesn't really work. Oh my gosh, I can make it rainbow. Seriously? That's amazing! Whoa. Okay, which one should I pick? I don't know! So many amazing ones. I feel like that one's beautiful. I'm going with that. Oh my gosh, look at me. Okay, I'm not sure I'm an animal, but I think I look beautiful. Okay, I'm a, I'm a unicorn butterfly fairy. <laughs> now I need some wings. Wait, I could, I could have a little animal back here too. Oh, look at this. I Okay, is there a unicorn baby anywhere on here? I see a fairy. Yes, there's a unicorn, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's adorable. Okay, I just got a peg unicorn, I think. Where is my peg unicorn? Okay, there's my peg unicorn. Come on, unicorn. Okay, obviously, I'm a unicorn, guys. Whoa, I just went flying out there. That was crazy. All right, I have 55 seconds. Maybe I can find something else super cute. Oh, that is, those wings are so beautiful. Can a unicorn have wings? I think if they're like a, a Pegasaurus or whatever they're called. A Pegasaur or something. You can, but. Oh, I'm going to beat Sarah. Look at me. I look amazing. Come on, baby unicorn. That baby unicorn is so cute. Guys, do I need like some glasses or something? I feel like if I wore some glasses, that would be so adorable. No, no, no. I only have 19 seconds, but I feel beautiful, so I don't know. I, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Maybe I need a different face. Oh my gosh! Deciding at the last minute. This can't be good. This can't be good if you're deciding at the last minute. Oh, this is adorable. That works. That works, right, guys? Oh, look at me! I'm a unicorn. I am so beautiful. I'm just saying I am. Uh, well, there's lots of animals over there. Oh, the time's up, guys. Here we go. Who will win, me or Sarah? Oh, uh, who do you guys pick? Tell me in the comment section below. Do you want me to win or do you want Sarah to win? Guys, seriously, don't pick Sarah. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, first up, it's Sarah, guys. I don't see her anywhere. She gets stage fright. She's not coming out. Okay, Sarah is not there, guys. I can't even see what her outfit looks like. Oh my gosh, guys. Now I'm super nervous because I, I couldn't even see her. Okay, I'm just gonna like wave. Hey everybody, and cheer. Yeah! Okay, for some reason the game glitched and I didn't even see Sarah, so. Basically, I don't know if she's gonna win or not. And I'm nervous about it. Oh my gosh, someone else decided to be a unicorn. Oh, this is the worst. When someone shows up at the party and they've decided to dress up as the same thing as you. No, just no. Look at the rabbit with the wings. I don't get it, but it's cute. <laughs> it's a cute little rabbit with wings. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm a unicorn with wings, so you know, whatever. Fairy tale El Angelina. Oh, you are adorable. Look at your little cat outfit. Oh, you should totally wear that for Halloween in real life. Seriously. So cute. 
I'm getting nervous, guys. I'm getting so nervous. Oh, look at that one. Oh, so cute. Guys, while we're waiting, can you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also um hit the notification bell for this channel? That would make me so happy if you guys subscribed. And, of course, like this video. Oh, my gosh. Look at the little bunny. Yeah, you're a bunny. I know you are. Since I am a bunny. Adorable. Descendants fan 2789. Adorable. I love your bunny outfit. Mom Theirs. Let's see what Mom Theirs is wearing. Um... Yeah, I think they came in late to the game. <laughs> They're doing a little dance, though. They're like, I don't care. I don't care if I'm not dressed like an animal. I don't care. Oh, my gosh. Please don't let Sarah beat me. Please. Please. The results are in, and the winners are... Oh, my gosh. I got first place. Oh, my gosh. Take that, Sarah. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, you must have cheated. I didn't cheat. Are you serious? Sarah, you got sixth place. I got first. <laughs> now I get to pick your outfit. And now I get to pick your outfit. Whatever. I quit. What? You, you can't quit. You. What? No. That's cheating. No, I just refuse to let your ugly fashions um, be, be anywhere near me. Whatever, Sarah. I cannot believe you're going to quit before I get to pick out your ugly outfit. Totally. Bye, baby. Whatever. I totally won first place. Yes, go me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. In this Brookhaven mini movie, Daisy is sick of being a nerd. She wishes that she could be a popular cheerleader and her wish comes true. But will being a cheerleader make her truly happy? Watch to the end of this video to see the crazy ending. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment section below this video. We read all of your comments, guys. Today's shout out goes to Hasana O, who says, I love these mini movies. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing fans. Daisy, 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 Daisy! Molly, why are you being so loud right now? Can't you see I'm busy? Daisy, we have to go in the pool. Why do we have to go in the pool, Molly? Because it's so nice outside, and it's just, it's a perfect day to go in the pool. Daisy, put that book down. It's right in front of my face. How rude! Molly, I'm busy studying. I have to get a good grade on the math test tomorrow because I have to be a part of the math elites. The math elites are the best math students in the entire town and i'm going to be the head of them but daisy it's so nice out i don't care molly i have to do my homework now go away fine you don't know what you're missing it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna be in the pool molly shh stop singing about it jeepers ah this is the life ah daisy doesn't know what she's missing by studying all the time Boring. Well, who am I going to play Marco Polo with? I guess I'll play with my invisible friend. Marco! Okay, invisible friend. Are you out of the pool? Fish out of water! Oh, I wish I could go out to the pool. It is a really nice day outside. I'm stuck in here studying again. Okay, Daisy, don't think like that. You are the best nerd on the planet. You're going to get on to mathletes, and you're going to take over the world. Yeah, at least that's what I keep telling myself anyway. Maybe just another hour of studying, and I'll be prepared for this test. Oh, sometimes it feels like all I do is homework and study. Study and homework. Daisy, are you still studying for that math test? It's already been like 24 hours. You're going to get a good grade. Molly, there's no way of knowing that. There's no way of knowing. Daisy, you're the biggest nerd I know. There's a way of knowing. Oh, look who it is. Losers. Nerd number one and nerd number two. Uh, correction. I get detention and I don't get hundreds on my tests. I am definitely not a nerd. Yeah, she's not a nerd. Well, you are right.
Um, yeah, sort of. I mean, I get good grades and stuff. Well, that sounds lame. I mean, yesterday at cheerleading practice, we had such a good time. Really? You you did? Yeah, it was so much fun. And then the entire team afterwards went for pizza. Whoa, pizza? That's amazing. If I could be a cheerleader, I totally would just for the pizza. Of course you would, Molly. Wow, cheerleading sounds so cool. It totally is, but you'd never make it because you're a loser nerd. What? But but I could be on the cheerleading squad, I think. No, not even a chance. You're a loser. <laughs> loser nerd. Loser nerd. What? Why is she saying that? <laughs> Daisy! Oh my gosh, we're going to be late for English class. Ah, oh, Daisy... I can't believe I actually beat my sister to class for once. Looks like I beat everybody. <laughs> well, at least I won't get detention today. I'm so tired of being a nerd. Everybody's always mean to me about it. I work so hard on my schoolwork and, and then it all I get is picked on. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could go from being a nerd to a cheerleader. <laughs> Did somebody say, I wish? What? Who, who are you? <laughs> Don't be silly. You know who I am, right? Uh, no. I have no idea. You disappeared out of thin air. Well, Daisy, I'm your fairy godmother. Wait, wait, wait. I have a fairy godmother? That's right. <laughs> well, where were you when I was taking that English test last week and I got a B? I wished for it then, too. Well, you didn't say out loud, I wish. Oh, is that all I have to do? I also wish for a million bucks. Um, one wish at a time, Daisy. One wish at a time. Now, you're thinking you want to be a cheerleader instead of a nerd, is that right? Yes, I really want it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, are you sure you want to wish? Sometimes what we think we want isn't actually what we want. We have to be careful what we wish for. Wishes can go very crazy. I know what I want, okay? I'm a headstrong person. I know what I want. Okay, well then, all you have to do is say the magic words. What are they? <laughs> Hint, they start with, I wish. Okay, um, I wish I could be a popular cheerleader. Your wish is my command. Whoa, I'm a cheerleader. Not just any cheerleader, the cheerleading captain. Whoa, Sarah used to be the cheerleading captain. She's not going to be happy about this. Well, this is what fairy godmothers do. <laughs> Have fun being the cheerleading captain. Bye. Go figure. The one time I'm early for class, the teacher is late. Oh, the teacher said he got stuck in the rain. His car wouldn't start. Huh, well, looks like English class is canceled. Woohoo! Hey, everybody. Whoa, Daisy, are you the cheerleading captain? No, I'm the cheerleading captain. Well, where's your cheerleading outfit then, Sarah? What do you mean, where is it? I'm wearing it. Uh, no, you're not. What? What, what, what happened to my cheerleading captain outfit? Why is she wearing it? Um, because she's the cheerleading captain. What? No! How did this happen? She's a total nerd! Not anymore! Looks like she's the most popular girl in school. She's the cheerleading captain. No! Well, I'll take, um, I'll take time to sign autographs after class, okay, everyone? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be the first one to get one, and um, maybe you'd like to go to prom with me? Luke! What? She's just so pretty, and she's popular, and she's a cheerleading captain. I can't help it. Of course I'll go to the prom with you. Daisy! Luke's supposed to go with me! Actually, Molly, he's going with me. He already asked. What? Ugh! This is the worst day ever! How did you become the cheerleading captain anyway? A little bit of magic and a lot of love. Well, that's the end of English class. Time for the math test. 
I'm gonna ace this. I studied so hard. Well, I'm probably gonna fail because I sat by the pool. Good morning, everyone. Uh, are you all ready for the math test? Daisy, I'm sure you are. Totally, Mr. Smith. Um, I think I'm ready, but uh, I can't really concentrate because all I can think about is how beautiful Daisy is. O-M-G! Stop talking about how beautiful my sister is. Literally, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, class, it's time for your test. No talking, no cheating, no looking on anybody else's papers, no breathing! We can't breathe? Whoa, harsh. <sighs> Molly, what are you doing? I'm taking a deep breath. I'm gonna need it if I can't breathe for the next 30 minutes. I was just kidding about the breathing part. <laughs> but no talking! Okay, Mr. Smith. You take this very seriously. Oh my gosh, I don't know the answer to problem number one. Okay, just move on to problem number two, and you can come back to problem number one. I don't know the answer to problem number two, either! I, I don't know the answer to any of these, but I did yesterday. Oh my gosh, when I was turned from a nerd into a cheerleader, I got super dumb! Oh no! Okay, class, time's up. Daisy, I bet you got a hundred. Um, Mr. Smith, I don't feel so good. Let me see your test, Daisy, and I'll grade it right now. I can't wait to call you the captain of the mathletes. Wait, are you the new captain of the cheerleading squad? Uh, yeah, I'm super popular and stuff. Uh, Daisy, um, all of these answers are incorrect. You got an F. What? I, I don't know what happened. I studied so hard, Mr. Smith, I promise. This is crazy. I'm very sorry, Daisy, but you cannot be on the mathletes this year. What? No! Wait a minute. Why do I care? I'm so popular. I'm the cheerleader who cares about nerdy mathletes. See you later. I don't even need math class. Daisy, wait. I'm going to have to give you detention. Daisy! Uh, Molly, why are you sitting in your desk backwards? Um, uh, no reason. She's staring at me again. Make her stop. Luke, I, I thought we were, we were, you know, best friends. We we're going to go to prom together. I only have eyes for Daisy now. Huh, this is the craziest day ever! Ah! Well, the good news is, Molly, you got a B-plus on your test! Well, I actually did good for a change. <sighs> hey, Daisy! Something really weird is going on here. What do you mean, Molly? I can't talk to you right now. I'm talking to the cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Daisy, what, since when have you been a cheerleader? If you're such a great cheerleader, show me a cheer. Okay, fine, I'll show you a cheer. I am the cheerleading captain, which makes me the best at this level. Well, let's see it then. Whoa! Daisy, that's impressive! I know, right? It should make me really happy, but it's, it's not. Being a cheerleader isn't making you happy? Even though you're super popular and the best one in the world? That's right, Molly, it's... It's just making me feel hollow inside. I... I miss being a nerd. What? Really? Yeah, but I've gone and messed everything up now. I... I made a wish to my fairy godmother and... And she turned me from a nerd to a cheerleader. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a fairy godmother? And you wish to become a cheerleader? That's right. Yep and yep. Why would you wish for that? You could have wished for a million bucks or, or no more school or, or or to be on vacation permanently. And you wish to be a cheerleader? That's the lamest wish I've ever heard of. Well, I'm sorry. She's my fairy godmother and I get to choose the wishes, Molly. Oh, my gosh. What a lame wish. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Can we stop talking about my wish for a minute? I have to find the fairy godmother so I can turn this back. Well, do you think she'll give me a wish? No, Molly, she's not your fairy godmother. Of course she won't. Well, then why did you wish for, for what you wished for? Stop yelling, Molly. Ay, 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 everybody in the school's gonna know about it. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> okay, Daisy, I'll help you find your fairy godmother. You will, Molly? That's so nice of you. Yeah, if you wish next for a million bucks and then give it to me. Molly! Okay, fine. I'll help you find her. I don't know where she could be. The last time I saw her was in the girls' bathroom. 
Well, that's a weird place for a fairy godmother to hang out. She was there because I was in there, Molly, crying and sad. Daisy, who cares what Sarah or anyone else thinks? You, you just be you, seriously. Being you is the best thing you could be. Aww. You're a nerd, but who cares? You're amazing, you're smart, and you're beautiful, and you're nice. Well, for the most part, sometimes you're rude to me. That's because you're annoying sometimes. Not the point, Daisy. All right, you're right, Molly. It does feel hollow inside to be somebody that I'm not. I should be myself, right? Absolutely. Now, come on. I have an idea of where the fairy godmother might be. Well, Molly. <laughs> well, if I was a fairy godmother, I'd want to eat ice cream all day. Oh, man, it's raining. Let's see if I can find my umbrella. Oh, my God, did I forget it at home? Okay, no, there it is. Better. Hopefully the whole town doesn't flood. I don't know why Molly ran here. She could have rode in the car with me. She's right. My fairy godmother is here eating ice cream. Fairy godmother, fairy godmother. Oh, well, hello there, Daisy. I see you're being popular and a cheerleader. Yeah, except for I don't really like my wish. What? No gives these backsies. You have to keep your wish. But fairy godmother, I don't like it. I feel hollow inside. Empty. Not myself. I told you that wishes could go awry. And I truly meant it. Mm, this birthday cake ice cream is delicious. Fairy godmother, listen to me. Whoa, no need to get angry, Daisy. I don't want your wish anymore. I wish that I could go back to being my true, authentic self. Well, I guess I could make an exception this time. But do you promise next time to remember that what we wish for is sometimes not a good thing? What do you mean? I mean, some wishes are wonderful, but when we wish to be something that we're not, not so good. I get what you mean. You're saying, when I wish for something like to help a hurt puppy, or to be a better person, or to dream big, those are all great things. Correct! But when I wish to be something I'm not, then all it does is make me feel sad and hollow on the inside. Absolutely, Daisy. You should be exactly who you are, okay? I learned my lesson, Fairy Godmother. You're a very good teacher, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, you can make it up to me by getting me a vanilla ice cream. <laughs> we'll see, Fairy Godmother. I'm not sure I have enough money. Okay, well, go ahead and make your wish. I wish that I could be back to myself as soon as possible, please. Well, let's just make sure I'm really back to myself. I'm going to try to do a cheerleading move. Here I go. Oh, ouch, I hurt myself. Ow. Well, the good news is, is you're back to yourself. The bad news is, is I need to go to the school nurse. Ow. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> Daisy, how'd you get here so quick? Because, Molly, I took the car. I didn't run the whole way, duh. Where's the fairy godmother? Was she not here? Is she not eating ice cream? Was I wrong? No, she was eating ice cream, Molly. Do you notice anything different about me? Um. Whoa! You're back to your nerdy self! That's right, Molly. She took my wish back. Did you ask for the million dollar wish? No, Molly, I didn't. Daisy, why not? We could be rich. We'd never have to go to school again. We could be on vacation forever. Molly, you should never wish for something that you don't want. I do want a million dollars, Daisy. What were you thinking? Um, uh, your time's up on this limo. Uh, you guys owe me a million dollars. What? What? <laughs> Just kidding. It's a thousand dollars. Uh, pay up, please. Daisy, wouldn't that million dollars come in handy right now? Uh, yeah, you do have a point. Daisy! Where's my homework? I know it was right here. Marty, did you forget your homework again? Um, uh, uh. Molly, you're gonna get detention. Oopsie. <laughs> Molly, did you hear the big news? <gasps> what big news? Did they cancel math class? Because that's the only news that would really matter to me right now. I can't find my homework in my locker. No, Molly. There's supposedly a new student in our class today. Whoa. Are they staying here forever? 
Well, yeah, the twins went to our school, and I guess she moved to Bookhaven. Whoa, so cool! Hopefully she's not a bully like Sarah. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna guess she's probably super nice. Now come on, Molly, the bell's about to ring. Okay, class, everybody take your seats. We're about to say hello to a new student. Yeah, I heard there's a new student. Don't worry, though. She won't be cooler than me. Sarah, there's no talking on your phone in math class. Ooh. Well, you haven't even started math class yet, so I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Sarah, if you keep talking to me that way, I'm the teacher, and I'm going to give you detention. <gasps> Tell whoever you're talking to on the phone that. I have to go. The teacher's about to give me detention, and then we can't shop at the mall later. Yeah, that's right. No mall for you. Oh, look, here's our new student. I'd like everyone to say hello to Sophia. Oh, Sophia, um, I know, I know. I have a bag on my head. I have to wear this at all times. Okay, that's all right, sweetie. Um, why don't you go ahead and take any seat that you like? Um, Molly and Daisy are really friendly. I'm sure they'd let you sit next to them. Which one are Molly and Daisy? Oh, Daisy has the pigtails? I both like you! Daisy! Daisy! Molly, shh! We're not supposed to be talking. We're supposed to be doing our bath. I know. Well, what's up with Sophia? She's wearing a bag on her head. I don't know, Molly. Maybe she's allergic to the sun, like our neighbor. I don't know, but... But... That's kind of weird, right? Yeah, but maybe she's a nice person. So what? Yeah, you're right. I just never seen anybody wear a bag on their head at school. I mean, is she like an alien? Molly, of course she's not an alien. You never know. Uh, aliens could come to Brookhaven High, too. Ay, ay, ay. So you get the sum of the equation by... Molly, can you answer this one, please? The teacher's talking to you. Molly, wake up! Molly, are you sleeping in? Oh, well, I guess it's time for lunch. Somebody say it's time for lunch? Well, now you're awake, I see. <laughs> lunch is my favorite class of the day. I like eating so much pizza. Hey! Where's Large Marge? She must be taking a break after making all this delicious pizza. Yeah, that's just another annoying student. You don't have to listen to that. I know you go to private school. But I don't get to go to private school. I'm not that lucky. I don't know. I like Brookhaven High. I think it's an awesome school. Large Marge makes the best bridge up in the entire universe. Mmm. So good. I prefer to eat the apples. Blah, blah, blah. Apples are boring. Well, okay, they're kind of good. After you've eaten five slices of pizza, that is. <laughs> hey, there's the new girl, Sophia. Let's invite her to sit at the table with us, Molly. She doesn't have any friends yet. And I bet it's kind of hard to make friends when you have a bag on your head. Um, hey, Sophia! Oh, uh, hi. Are you here to tease me about how I have a bag on my head? What? No, I wouldn't tease you about that. Although, I have a few questions. Everyone always does. But, I, I mean, you don't have to answer any questions. You could just come and sit with me and my sister at the lunch table, and we'd be happy to be your friends. Aww. Really? No one ever wants to be my friend. They think I'm weird. Well, I don't know your reason for wearing a bag on your head, but I don't care. You seem like a really sweet person. Come eat lunch with us. Yes, Sophia, come eat lunch with us. Oh, yeah, there's, like, this new girl at our school. She has a brown paper bag on her head. <laughs> Who does that? She's probably like so ugly we can't look at her face. <gasps> oh my gosh, Sophia, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm kind of used to it. This is the way it was at my old school too. People just made fun of me all the time. <sighs> I used to cry about it all the time, but now I just feel like why, why even shed the tears? I have no tears left to cry. I mean, it makes me feel sad, but I have to wear this bag over my head. Well, I'm sorry that so many people have been so mean to you. Molly, what are you doing? I don't know, that pizza just gave me a lot of energy. I have ants in my pants, make my dance to friends. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ah, my sister sometimes. Don't worry, Molly. Sometimes I do crazy weird things too. 
Uh, Sophia, I think we might be, like, friends for life. <laughs> hey, you want to come over to our house and hang out after school? Sure, I'd love to. I really haven't had any friends before, though. What do we do when we hang out? Well, we can eat snacks, we can play Roblox, Ooh. you know, we can ride our bikes, anything you want. Wow, sounds amazing. I'll be there. <laughs> Welcome to our house, Sophia. Um, I guess it's not that fancy. Are you kidding me? You have a hot tub in your house? That's amazing. And, and, and so many mirrors. Huh? So many mirrors? What are you talking about, Sophia? I mean, I don't have a single mirror in my house. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have them. Wait, what? Why? I'd go crazy. I'm such a fashionista. I mean, how would I even get my pigtails straight every day if I didn't have a mirror? Well, you could spend a little less time in the bathroom. You know, I usually eat beans for breakfast. Uh-oh. And you need some bathroom time. <laughs> Mommy! Gross! Don't be rude when we have a guest. <laughs> Look, Sophia, if you learn anything about me, it's that you have to endure my fart jokes if you want to be my friend. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm different than everyone else. Um, I don't know if you're that different. You seem sweet and nice to me. But why aren't you allowed to have mirrors in your house? Because my mom, she says that if I or anybody else ever saw my face, I'm so ugly that the world would shatter. Wait, you're joking, right? Yeah, she's got to be joking, right? I'm not. It's for everyone's own good that you never see my face. Can't believe it. That can't be true. You're so kind-hearted and, and wonderful and you could never shatter the world. Besides, you want to see me when I wake up in the morning. What? It's time to wake up already? No. No, I can't wake up. I can't wake up. Yeah, I'm pretty gnarly in the morning. <laughs> I agree, and your breath always smells like, well, I'm right. <gasps> hey, well, I'm just telling the truth, so I'm pretty sure no one could be scarier than Molly. That's super nice of you to say, Daisy. I'm so glad you're my sister. I know, right? Truth teller, that's me. <laughs> my name is Daisy. We don't need to hear your song. Yes, you do, just like the flower. My name is Daisy. I've got flower power. Um, thanks for the, um, pep talk, I guess, guys. But, yeah, the bag has to stay on. Well, let us show you around our house. So, this is our hot tub. Oh, my gosh, you guys have a hot tub? I always wanted one of these. That's so amazing. Whoa, it's slippery. Ah! <laughs> Sophia, are you okay? Uh-oh. Her bag got wet. <gasps> oh, no. That means it's going to disintegrate. Guys, don't look at me. It'll shatter your faces. It'll shatter the world. Do you have a new paper bag? I need it. Don't turn around. Just go get me a new bag out of your kitchen. Sorry, we don't use paper bags. We just use those reusable ones because Mom said it saves um, one penny every single time we go to the grocery store. No, Molly, it was like $2. Well, anyway, um, we don't use those, so we don't have any paper bags. What? Besides, Sophia, come on. I'm sure that your face will not shatter the world. Who told you that anyway? Well, 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 I guess I could show you my face, but but don't be surprised if it, if it shatters the world. We can take it. I promise, Sophia. Show us your face. Wait, what? <gasps> Sophia, you're gorgeous. You're you're a total 10. A babe, beautiful, amazing, lovely. Wow. Why you been wearing a bag on your head? Seriously, can I brush your hair? It's so amazing. It's like, it's like a movie star. What are you guys talking about? I'm the ugliest girl in the world, and it's not nice of you to make fun of me. We're not. Sophia, we're your friends. I mean, we're new friends, but you can trust us. Come on, come into the bathroom and look at yourself. I can't. It'll break every mirror in the world. Who told you this crazy stuff? Come on, look in the mirror. Oh my gosh. 
I'm... I'm beautiful? Yeah. So why did you wear that bag for so long on your head? I can't believe this. Everything I've been told is a lie. I... I was told this by my... by my mom. Wait, what? Yeah, she told me that she didn't want me to shatter the world, so... She made me wear this bag over my head and she got rid of every single mirror in our house. She said I was never to look in a mirror and I was never to take off my bag off my head. <gasps> Whoa, seriously, she's got issues. Why would your mom do that? I don't know, but I have a lot of questions. A lot of them. I feel so betrayed. I would too. We'll go with you and we can ask her lots of questions. Thanks for being my friends, guys. I would have never known that it was actually beautiful. Yeah, it's a crazy world sometime. Hey guys, if you want to know what happens to Sophia, make sure you check out part two of this crazy movie. <laughs>
He's a police officer. He's going to arrest you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is still my mom you're talking about, guys. Sophia, you can take the bag off your head. You don't have to wear it anymore. I guess I sort of just feel safe in here. I mean, I'm so used to living inside this bag. Except for, of course, when I eat a sauerkraut sandwich. Then I don't want to be in this bag with myself. <laughs> I know what you mean. I feel that way when I go into the bathroom after I eat a bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly! Come on, back to the point here. Why would you lie about all this? You don't seem like a good mom. You seem like a criminal. Uh-oh! Why did you make these new friends? I don't like them at all, Sophia. Of course you wouldn't like us because we're actually looking out for, for, for your supposed daughter. What is going on here? I'm feeling really stressed out, Mom. I want some answers. And now? Well, you were an orphan. No one wanted you. And, and that's a lie. There's always somebody that wants to adopt kids. There's a lot of good people out there. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. My dad taught me how to spot a liar. I can always spot one. I can always spot one. Yeah, what's the real truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Oh my gosh, Sophia, you were actually born Madeline. Wait, what? I had a different name? That's right. And wait a minute. <gasps> you look a lot like the queen and king of Brookhaven. I, I do? You two need to get out of my house right now. I don't think so. We're still finding out the answers here, lady. My goodness. I think you might be the king and queen's daughter. Well, that's impossible because they already have a daughter. But wait. I smell something fishy. Honey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be resting. The baby could come any day now. I know, honey, but I wanted to bake some bread. I'm so bored with just sitting around the house. But the doctor said he wants you on bed rest. You need to be. You need your rest. But, but, honey, I'm fine. I feel great. Honey, this is why we hired a maid. She's supposed to be helping you with these things. I know, but I can do it. I'm, I'm totally able. I know you are, but we have to think about your health and the babies at this point. You can get back to your normal activities that you love doing once the baby comes. Now, I insist, go rest and let the maid do all of this. Margo, I need you to do everything that the queen would like to do, but shouldn't be doing. Uh-huh, sure. I'll do all of the cooking, all of the cleaning, everything. I'll even scrub the toilets. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what we hired you for. Now get busy, please, because the queen needs her rest. Oh, honey, I surely am totally fine. You, couch, relax. Watch some Netflix. Okay, fine. Oh, I sure hope that my little girl gets here soon. Mostly because I want to meet her, but also because I miss having my life being able to do things besides just sitting around waiting for her to arrive. Margot, I need you to make sure that the queen listens to my orders. She must rest until the baby comes, which means you will have to work extra hard until our little one arrives. Uh-huh, sure, fine. But what about my little one that's on her way? No one even knows that I'm going to have the baby too. Do they even care? I mean, seriously. I have to work so hard. The queen just gets to sit on her booty all day and be lazy. I have the most unfair life in the whole world. Can you believe it, honey? Our sweet, beautiful little angel is here. Yes, but you're still very weak. You need to rest, honey, okay? I know, I know. I'll just be here with my sweet little girl. Hi, mommy and daddy love you so much. Aww. Oh, sweet baby. We're going to love you till the end of time. Okay, I'm here to take the baby because you obviously need your rest. No, that's okay, Margo. I can take care of her. I'm totally fine. Honey, I think the maid has a point. You do need your rest. You just had a baby. But I want her to stay with me. 
I know, but just a day or two of rest, and I promise you you can see her throughout that time. It's just, I, I really need you to, to, to get a little rest. Ah, <sighs> okay. Here you go, Margo. Take super good care of her. Uh-huh, sure, whatever. Honey, do you trust Margo with our baby? I don't know, she just seems like a little, well, mean. Oh, honey, I think you're just, just being a little paranoid because it's your first baby and you're kind of nervous and... I don't know, I just have a bad feeling about her. <gasps> Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Now, just try to get some sleep, honey. Sweet little girl, you're no princess, but you're about to be. I'm gonna miss you forever. But if I do this swap between you and the queen's baby, you'll have the best life I could possibly give you. You will be their princess. And I will take the princess and raise her. Trust me, this is for your own good. You being a princess will mean that you can be anything. I love you so much. And, and I'll miss you forever. Time to do the baby swap. Margo! Margo, I'm awake now and I want my baby. Okay, here's your baby. What? This isn't my baby. What are you talking about? Of course it's your baby. You're delusional because you're sleepy or something. This is not my baby. Where's my baby? Whose baby is this? I better get the king. She's gone mad. We have a mad queen. What? I'm not mad. I'm not crazy. This, this baby is not mine. Look at it. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? This is not our daughter. What are you talking about? My queen, you're exhausted. Maybe you need to go to the hospital. Did you get a bonk on the head? Look at her. She doesn't even look like our daughter. I didn't really get that great of a look at her because she was all bundled up in your arms when she was born, but I'm quite certain this is our child. I mean, whose child would it be? This is the only baby in the castle. It's not our baby. I'm telling you. I know. I know my baby's face. Honey, I think you're just tired. Please, just rest. The baby can even stay with you if you want. Fine. But I'm telling you, something, it's not right. Are you serious, lady? I can't believe you did that. Everything I've ever known is a lie. You're not even my real mom. <gasps> well... I did it to protect my own daughter. To give her the best life that I possibly could. Yeah, but you ruined... You, you ruined <laughs> Sophia's life in the process. You took her away from her mom and dad. You took her away from being a princess. Well, I provided a good home for her. Yeah, sort of. Except for you lied the entire time. You're going to jail, lady. You're going to jail. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I... I... I caught in my dad. He'll know what to do. Guys, thank you for being my friend. I would have never known the truth without you. 911, what's your emergency? Dad, I've got a real emergency on my head. It's too much to explain. You have to get here immediately. Daisy, are you safe? Is mommy safe? Is mom safe? Is baby Kira safe? Yeah, we're all safe, but basically, the princess has been kicked. What? That, that sounds insane. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Thanks, Dad. I didn't mean to kidnap her. I, I just wanted my own daughter to have the most successful life she could. Well, lady, you made the wrong choice. You gave up your own daughter and then stole someone else's. That's not okay. Step forth so that the king and queen may sentence you. I can't believe our old maid would do this to us. I know, Queen, but we just, we, we probably are going to have to put her in the dungeon. I know. I just, I can't believe she made this choice. What do you have to say for yourself, Margot? I just wanted the best chance for my daughter, and, and she got it. Well, until now. Now she's going to be out on the street without a mom at all. Oh, I didn't think about that, King. What will we do? My queen, we will love our adopted daughter as much as we love our real daughter. They are both our daughters. Yes, that's exactly what we'll do. We've decided that they are both our daughters. You, having acted like a criminal, shall be sentenced to live in the dungeon for 10 years. <gasps> if you do the crime, you do the time. But, 
But I, I... Would you like to make it 20 years? Oh, this isn't a time out. Well, it sort of is. She's been very naughty. Go to the dungeon for 10 years. Don't worry, we have very good food here, so you won't starve or anything. Ah, <sighs> well, that takes care of that. Now it's time to see my daughter again. Hi, I'm Sophia. Oh my gosh, you look so much like me. And me. Wow, I can't believe it. You were right all the time, Queen. I, 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 I'm sorry I didn't listen to you, my love. It's okay, as long as we're all together now. But I'm going to tell you, we are going to keep Margot's daughter too. She's going to be your adopted sister. Aww. My sweet princess, come meet your sister, the other new princess. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I can't believe you were stolen from my mom and dad, but I'm so excited I finally get a sister. I am too. I feel like I'm finally home. I'm just happy that all of my family is together. Me too. Both of our girls. And, well, I don't know if you have a dog, Sophia, but we have one. <coughs> really? I always wanted a dog, but my adopted mom would never let me get one. She made me wear a bag on my head for so many years. Wait, what? Yeah, she said it was so ugly that I would shatter the universe if anybody saw my face. Uh -oh. It was really because she didn't want anyone to see my face and know that I was, well, a missing princess. Well, you are pretty recognizable. You look just like your mother and me. There would have been questions. Yeah, but I'm just glad I'm finally home. We are too, Sophia. We are too. <laughs> Wake up! Mom, no! No school today, please! Girls, you don't have school today. Wait, what? Wh what's going on, Mom? Are you surprising us with Disney? <sighs> if we go, I want to go to Magic Kingdom for sure, Mom. And I want to see the fireworks. Molly, we're not going to Disney. Was school canceled because of the snow? Oh my gosh! No, girls, today you have... Dun, 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 a dentist appointment! Wait, what? A dentist appointment? No, Mom, I don't want to go to the dentist. That's boring. I don't like going to the dentist. Someone is always like sticking their hand in your mouth and... Yeah, that's part of going to the dentist. They check your teeth. I hate it. I'm not going. I've got to study for my science quiz in, in study hall today. Sorry, girls, but you've had this appointment for like a month. I just haven't told you because neither one of you would want to go. Now... Hop to, get dressed, we don't want to be late. Ugh, Mom! I'm going back to bed. Molly, get out of bed. Unless you'd like to be grounded from Brookie for a week. What? No, I'm out of bed. I'm out of bed. Oh, no. I hate going to the dentist. Come on, Molly, we're going to be late. I'm coming, I'm coming. I couldn't find my other shoe. Molly, if you just put them back in the closet, you would know where they were. You'd think that you were my second mom, the way you boss me around. Whoa, both of you girls are pretty grumpy about having to go to the dentist. It's going to be fine, I promise. Well, it sure beats going to school, that's for sure. All right, girls, we're here. Yay! Molly, I feel like you were honest with that yay. Totally was not. I don't want to. Molly, we're already here. Just go inside and wait in the waiting room. Seriously? Dr. Molo and Dr. Payne? I hope I get Dr. Molo. Yeah, Dr. Payne's name is basically exactly how he is. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! One time I almost bit his finger. What? Molly? <laughs> Not even kidding. He just was like, ow. He was like pulling my cheek kind of funny. And then he like grabbed my tongue to look at it. And it hurt, and I, I don't know, my, my, my teeth just wanted to come down and chomp on him. Well, good morning, girls. I'm Dr. Moeller. Who's going first? She is! No, she is. Uh -oh. Actually, I have Daisy on my clipboard first, so, Daisy, you're up. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. Good luck, Daisy! So, Daisy, how are you doing? 
I'm okay, except for Mother Dennis, and I don't like being here. No offense or anything. No offense taken. Um, I'm just going to take a quick peek inside your mouth at your teeth. I don't like anybody's fingers in my bath. It's weird, and I don't like it. I know. I'm just going to look in there with a the light. Okay, can you say, ah? Ah. Very good. I'm going to be very gentle when I examine your teeth, okay? Okay. I guess I, you seem pretty nice, Dr. Molo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. It looks like you're doing a great job brushing and flossing. How many times a day are you brushing and flossing? I brush in the morning after breakfast and floss. And then I can't really brush when I'm at school. Um, but I brush at night before bed and floss. Wow, that's great! Okay, well, you don't have any cavities, so you are done with your appointment. Really? That was quick and easy. Yeah, no cleaning this time, but I expect you to be back in a few months for your cleaning, okay? Sure thing, no problem. So Daisy, did you get your teeth clean? No, she said next time. That's just her way of getting you used to being here at the dentist's office. Next time, she's definitely going to clean your teeth. It's okay, I trust Dr. Molo. Okay, Molly, you're next. So Molly, have you been brushing and flossing? Yeah, because I don't want to have cavities. That stinks. Okay, Molly, just say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whoa, you're drooling a lot, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> My nose is kind of stuffy, so. That's okay, Molly. Here you go. I have a bib for the babies that come in. I'm not a baby. <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, ooh, um, hmm. Was that a good ooh or a bad ooh? Um, not really a good or a bad. Just a noticing that your teeth are a little crooked. What? No, they're fine. My teeth are perfect. Actually, Molly, um, I'm going to recommend that you get braces. Say what? Braces? Nope, nope, nope. Pass. Hard pass on that one. Um, I don't think this is really an option, Molly, because your mom said if you need a braces, you should definitely get them. What? I don't want to. They might hurt. No, they won't hurt, Molly. And you'll look adorable in them. I have all different colors. Would you like pink, blue? What are you doing with that, 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 that tool? Uh-oh. Um, this is how I'm going to ratchet them on. Ratchet them? That sounds not very fun at all. I don't want to have them ratcheted on. It's okay, Molly. I just need to get my screwdriver and my drill and... No! No, 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 no. Molly, just trust me. I've been doing dentistry for so many years. I've done so many braces. Now, which color would you like? Huh, I guess purple. Awesome! Whoa, Molly, why does your face look so weird? Because it's still mom. Oh, no, did you have to have a shot of Novocaine? Sure did. Well, let me see your teeth. Did she clean them? No, I don't want you to see my teeth. What? Why not? Because they just look different, okay? Molly, come on. Let me see. I don't need to show you my teeth, okay? <gasps> Molly, you got braces. Yeah, don't remind me. I like the little purple parts of it. They're really cute. You look adorable in braces. I... I do? Yeah, don't sweat it, Molly. You look so cute. You know, Daisy, sometimes you're the most annoying sister in the world. Uh, thanks? But what I mean to say is, sometimes you're also the world's best sister. Aww. Thanks for making me feel better. I was kind of embarrassed about having to get braces. Don't be embarrassed. You're taking good care of yourself by making your teeth look lovely and healthy. So, um, I think you should just get a purple, like, sweater to go with them. You look adorable for school tomorrow. Yeah, don't remind me I have school tomorrow with braces! Hey, Molly, good morning! Hey, what's going on? What is going on with you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The dentist wired her mouth shut. <laughs> Really, Molly? Are you being serious? No, she's not. I'm not being serious about that. <laughs> Molly, seriously, are you going to open your mouth? No, probably not. Okay, well, you don't have to talk to your friend ever again if you don't want to, Molly, but I think it's silly. All right, Molly, I'm going to tell you a funny joke, and then you're going to have to open your mouth and talk to me. It's making me feel like you're mad at me or something. What? No, I'm not mad at you. Well, here's the joke. What did the Dalmatian dog say after it had lunch? 
What did it say, Brookie? She's great at jokes. It said, that hit the spot. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I can't laugh. I can't laugh. <laughs> that hit the spot. <laughs> Molly, whoa, you got braces. Well, 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 look who we have here. Brace face. What? What'd you call me? <laughs> Metal mouth, you look ugly. What? What? I... I... <laughs> what do you know? The principal isn't in her office. <laughs> Perfect. Um, is this thing on? Yeah, okay. So, we have a metal mouth in our school. Metal mouth, metal mouth. Her name is Molly Acker, and if you see her, make sure you laugh at her. <laughs> is Sarah in my office? Oh, I'm so going to catch her and give her detention. Better get out of here before I get caught. Sarah, I'm going to give you detention. Wait a minute. She outsmarted me again. I'll never show my face in this school ever again. My mom and dad need to homeschool me. I think I'm getting so much better at soccer. <laughs> this is so fun. Molly, it's time to come inside and work on some of your schoolwork. No, Mom, I don't want to. I'm playing soccer. Molly, you've been out there for an hour. Come on, you have to come do some of your homework. Ugh, Mom, I don't want to. Molly, please, you're being kind of bratty right now. I'm playing with my little monkey. We're having a dance party. Baby Kira doesn't have to do any of this homework stuff. Molly, neither did you when you were a toddler. Well, it's not fair. I'm hungry. All right, Molly, will you get have a snack before you start? Okay, um, let's see. What would be a good schoolwork snack? The refrigerator won't open. Um, Molly, that's because I locked it. You locked it? Why would you do that? Because you always eat the snacks that aren't good for you, and we've talked about this. Are you serious right now? You locked me out of my own refrigerator? Correction, Molly. Your dad and I bought that refrigerator, so technically it belongs to us. We just let you borrow it because you're our kid. Mom, it's my refrigerator too, and I want a snack, and this isn't fair. Mom, snap out of it. You're being a really mean mom right now. Molly, why are you clapping in my face? That is really rude. <sighs> Fine, I'll eat whatever you want me to eat. What is it that you want me to eat? You could have that apple or that banana or even both, Molly. Fine, I'll eat the stinky apple. Molly, you are so acting like a brat, like right now. I'm about to go into my shift at work and I'm actually thinking that baby Kira should be your babysitter. Say what? Baby Kira, why would she be my babysitter? She's just a well toddler. I get up a good babysitter. I be good babysitter. Because you are acting more immature than she is and she's a toddler. Mom, you cannot make baby Kira my babysitter. Molly? One more misbehavior before I go to work, and I'm going to make her your babysitter. Now, baby Kira, please get off the counter. I can play baby. I can be a good baby to you. Molly, you gotta clean the house. I cannot believe my life right now. This is ridiculous. I'm going in to watch some TV. <sighs> That's more like it. Molly, you're supposed to be doing your homework. Remember, no TV. Hey, why'd you turn that off? You're such a mean mom. Oh, you're so, you're so annoying. <gasps> Did you just say I'm annoying? Molly, that's it. Your punishment is baby Kira is your babysitter for the day. Mom, you cannot do this. Watch me. I'm the mom. I get to do what I want to do when, 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 when I say it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, mom. Molly, I expect you to listen to baby Kira. Since she seems to be more being more mature than you today. Uh, she's not more mature than me. She sure is, Molly. Unless you can prove otherwise. Okay, Molly. I your babysitter or not. You have a vision to everything I say. Have a good day, Molly. I'll be expecting a good report from your sister. Okay, let's just get one thing straight, baby Kira. You are not my boss. I am your boss. Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> you boss. You're not my boss. I am your boss. Uh -huh. Ew, what made you do in my diaper? Change it. What? I'm not changing your diaper. What are you, crazy? You 
need to do everything I say because I'm your baby doodle. I need to do boy doodle. Turn my puppy diaper. This is the strangest, weirdest, worst day of my life. And also, baby Kira, I don't know what you ate, but it smells very bad. I had the baby burrito and applesauce. Ugh. That was a very bad combination. You smell like stinky doo-doo. How about this? How about today, you learn how to go potty on the toilet? I don't think so. Go get the wipes. I the babysitter now. Oh, man. 20 minutes later. Homework, schmomework. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. That not good singing. Stop it. Vacuum the floor. What? Vacuum the floor? Now I have to do my homework. Floor is vacuum full. Ugh. Okay, baby Kara, fine. This is so annoying. So annoying. Where's complaining more cleaning? <laughs> I just need to put with the apple robot on your account. Baby Kara, I'm going to suck you up in this vacuum. You better not be on my Roblox account. I am Star Squad Maui. Oh, quick trying to suck up my socks in that. That hurts my toes. Baby Kira, I am not doing this. You better vacuum. You know what I'm going to do with this vacuum? I'll show you what I'm going to do with this vacuum. <gasps> she got to put it in the hot tub. Maui! Goodbye and good riddance. That's it. You're getting a timeout. What? I don't need a timeout. I'm way older than you. You can't give me a timeout. Watch me. Go Time out now! I don't even know where the time out chair is. Well, here, I got one yesterday. I did jump up the top. Sit down, Maui. I don't want to sit down. I, I don't want him. I don't care if I want to. It's your punishment. No, I'm not going to. Okay, I'll have you also wear a diaper then. Say what? I'm not wearing a diaper. You are going to wear a diaper. I'm sitting down my... Oh, I'm calling mom and telling on you. Oh, fine. <sighs> Is this better for you? <laughs> you wear a baby diaper and onesie. <laughs> now you look like you're actually acting like a baby. I hit your body diaper with you. Now time out. Okay, fine. Oh. My sister is being so annoying. Okay, see you in 30 minutes. I can't believe this. I can't believe my mom left her in charge. I can't believe I'm wearing a onesie and a baby diaper and it's kind of itchy. One eternity later. It feels like I've been sitting here forever. But I'm starting to think that maybe I was being a little bit of a brat earlier. I mean, I guess a timeout is to help you take a timeout from life and think about um, maybe how your behavior is treating everyone else badly, and I haven't been very nice today. <sighs> At least my timeout's up, and I think I'm gonna do ni nice things for everyone. What are you doing? You gotta do what you do. My timeout's over, and I have a surprise for you, baby Kira. But you have to stay out of the kitchen. Really? I have a surprise? Yep, but you can't come in the kitchen until they're done. Okay, I'm gonna need some milk, and also... I'll need some sugar, and yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna have everything I need for this. A few hours later. Maui, is this a surprise done yet? It sure is, baby Kira. Here you go, a chocolate chip cookie, or two. Wow. You make cookie that really nice of you. Here you go. Oh, you can have another cookie too if you want it. Thank you, Maui. Why'd you do that? Um, well, I really like cookies, so... A fact for you always read it? No, I did it also because, well, I'm really sorry that I was being such a brat. And I'm just trying to apologize. Girls, I'm home. Did Molly behave herself? Whoa, what's this? Here you go, Mom. It's a cookie for you. You make cookies, Molly? Yeah, to apologize for being a brat. Really? Yeah, Mom. Wait a minute. Why are you wearing a diaper and onesie? <laughs> what happened? Don't even ask. Don't even ask. <laughs>
I don't think it's a good idea. You look like you're gonna fall over and your skates are really rusty. What are those from, the dinosaur age? No, Molly, maybe just after though. Oh my gosh, mom. I don't think that's a good idea. What, you don't wanna be seen with your mom at the roller skating rink? Am I not cool enough? No, it's just, okay, yeah, maybe a little. Trust me, these skates were amazing when I was a kid and they're gonna be amazing today. You don't worry about your mom. Okay, mom, well, good luck. Try not to fall. What, what? At the skating rink with my friends. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm at the skating rink with my friends. And it's gonna be so much fun. Woo! Okay, let's see what different things I can do. Because you guys know that I can do spins. And look at me. I'm on fire! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Whoa, that makes me kind of dizzy. Woo! 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 I like to jump when I'm wearing my skates. It's so much fun. Hey, Molly, look at me. I'm doing pretty good in these old rusty skates, aren't I? Yeah, Mom, you're doing great. Okay, I'm gonna skate backwards. Backwards skate. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, I gotta turn around. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take um, a TikTok video right now. Hey, guys, what's up? Look at me. Actually, you're looking at the ceiling. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, there's something wrong with my camera right now, but this would have made the best TikTok ever. Ah! <laughs> what, what, what was that? Ow, my leg, it really hurts. Mom, I told you, you were too old to go roller skating. I'm not old. Just because I'm a little older than you doesn't mean I'm old, Molly. Excuse me, I'm about to have a baby. Oh, and I fell over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Mom, get up. She needs your she needs your wheelchair. Molly, I can't get up. I broke my leg. Oh. Maybe don't jump around so much. You keep falling over. This is really bad. Okay, let's get in line, Mom. Everything's gonna be okay. How may I help you? Um, yes, my pet rat accidentally ate all these cookies and now she's got an upset stomach. Come on, lady! That's not even a real reason. I'm pregnant here! I am too! And I think I broke my leg roller skating with my daughter and her, her, my daughter's and her friend. Can somebody see me, please, please? Wow, this line is so long. My baby's coming! Okay, I'm just taking you into a room. Molly, you can't, you can't just take me into a room. That's like illegal. Says who? Look, there's a doctor right there. I think that was a monkey. Okay, yeah, it may have been a monkey, but it said doctor, so I sort of believed it. Here, mom, get in this bed. Come on, you, you can get in. Molly, I'll try. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> I could have broke both my legs. Hey, do you even need to be in here? I'm pregnant, you know. Yes, we can see that by the large stomach you have. Molly, don't be rude. I'm just saying, you can see that she's gonna have a baby. She looks like she's pregnant. Ugh, Molly, what am I gonna do with you? Um, I don't know, Mom, but just try to relax, okay? Hey, little kid, you, you, okay, you cannot jump on my mom's leg. It's broken. I just can't give her some oxygen. So feel better that way. Okay, you're not a doctor. Okay, here comes here comes the surgeon. Excuse me, surgeon. Let me tell the surgeon what's happening. Um, my mom here broke her leg. What can you do about it, surgeon? Surgeon, are you gonna talk? Hmm, she broke her leg. Let me take a look here. Okay, the oxygen was definitely a good start. And the little kid, why are you trying? Okay, this little kid is trying to actually take care of my mom. And while it's cute, I'm like, okay, she actually broke her leg. Let's not goof around. Surgeon, what can you do about this? Huh? 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 Oh, I'm starving. Are you eating a sandwich? Seriously? Well, maybe it's just a lunch break, Molly. Why is this little kid giving me eye drops? I don't have anything wrong with my eyes. Why are you giving me eye drops? Why do we always come to Maple Hospital, Daisy? This place is crazy town. Oh, yeah, really. You done eating your sandwich? Can you, like, look at her? Like, okay, I think he's actually, he's, oh, he's, like, scanning her leg right now. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Um, you're making that noise. Why are you making that noise? So I just feel like this little piece of equipment here should make a fun sound. Beep, boop, 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 boop. It would make my job more fun. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, your mom broke her leg. Oh, thank you, Dr. Genius. We already knew that. Oh, she's trying to break my other one with that hammer. Oh, someone get this kid out of here. He says she could turn into a small plant and 
feel her surroundings. Not by using a hammer on my kneecap! Okay, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but you're going to need surgery and right away. What? No, I was just roller skating. I don't need surgery. Ah, uh, yeah, you do. You need surgery. Okay, the little girl says you need surgery. The surgeon said you sur need surgery. Pretty sur sure you need surgery, Mom. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, though, after my sandwich, I normally take a little nap, you know? Um, listen, there, surgeon. Can you go take a nap somewhere else? My mom doesn't feel good. Can I get something for the pain? It hurts so much. Ow! Sure, let's just get you here in bed with the oxygen on, all covered up, and, well, now you're gonna feel much better. Ah. <sighs> I think they're giving her some anesthesia, Daisy, so that, you know, she can go sleepy to sleepy sleepy while they, you know, do her surgery. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened to mom. Oh, I'm still hungry. I gotta eat another sandwich. Quit eating the sandwiches! Oh, this has been the craziest day of my life. Okay, mom, well, I'll see you after surgery, okay? Okay, girls. <laughs> Whoa, must be the medicine makes her laugh. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Okay, let's take her over to surgery. Good luck, Mom. I love you. Well, hello there. I heard you had quite the accident there roller skating. I did. Wait a minute. You're not the surgeon that was eating all the sandwiches. Who are you? I'm Surgeon Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's my first name. You can call me Bob, though. Okay, Bob. Well, are you a good surgeon? Of course, the best around. I mean, your other surgeon, well, he wasn't the greatest because he cared more about eating sandwiches than actually fixing your leg. Well, Bob, I guess you knows best. I mean, no. <laughs> Was that a joke about my big nose saying I knows best? Um, I'm really sorry. Huh? Don't worry about it. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not smiling because, well, I have to be serious. I'm a surgeon, but I did think that was actually really funny. So you're not going to eat a sandwich while you're giving me surgery? What, me? Eat a sandwich? You've got a sandwich! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to be a comedian if I wasn't a surgeon. Now, um, I just need you to relax. I'm going to be giving you the anesthesia now, and you're going to feel it coming into your IV. Can you count from 100 down to 1 for me? Sure. 100. 99. A uh, 98. Night, night, little, little patient. It's time for you to go to sleep. Okay, well, now that she's asleep, time to fix that broken leg. <laughs> okay, I've got to put some antibiotic in there because I don't want anything to get infected. And I'm going to take a little sample just to make sure what I did in here is good. And she should be waking up any minute. One minute, 37 seconds later. Whoa, where am I? What's going on? Don't panic, patient. Everything's fine. I just gave you some surgery. Surgery? What? You broke your leg roller skating, remember? Oh, yeah. I've had the worst day. Here, drink this water. It's going to make you feel all better. Although, it may make you throw up. What? That it was going to make me feel better. Some people it makes them feel better. Some people it makes them throw up. But don't worry. When you get done drinking that, I have the puke bag right here. <laughs> You're going to be going back to your room soon and you can see your family. And I want you to stay off of it for at least three weeks. What? Three weeks? But I have work to do. Sorry, but that's the way the crookie, the crookie, the cookie, the... Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I need a nap and I need lunch. It's cookie. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Ooh, stop talking about cookies. You're making me hungry. Mom! Mom! Whoa, what happened to your leg? It's facing the wrong direction. Do you think that looks strange? I mean, my surgeon seemed like he was nice enough, but he was kind of hungry because he hadn't had lunch yet. Uh, Mom, they put the cast on. Definitely wrong. Your leg is going in the wrong direction. Oh, no. This really has been the worst day ever. Oh... Mom, this is terrible. Your surgeon didn't know what he was talking about. Was he even a surgeon? I mean, look at your leg. Do you think that's right? Uh, no. That's definitely not right. I mean, look at that. Her leg is facing the wrong direction. O-M-G. All right, well, let me go ahead and call the doctor. Hello, this is Surgeon Bob. I'm on my lunch break. What can I do for you? Yes, my mom just got surgery from you. Her name is Laura, and I don't know if you messed up her leg or you put the cast on wrong, but her leg is facing in the wrong direction. 
Okay, well, let me just finish my cupcake and I'll be right in. No, come in now, crazy! Molly, I think we should go to Brookhaven Hospital. I don't think coming to Maple Hospital is a good idea. Yeah, let me get the wheelchair. I'll get you out of here, Mom. Molly, that's not a that's not a wheelchair. That's a stroller. Yeah. That's all they had, Mom. The wheelchairs are all taken. So, um, you're gonna have to get inside. Oh, this day couldn't be any worse. I knew we should have gone to Bookhaven Hospital. I knew it. Maple Hospital, they're crazy. <laughs>
but literally this is as fast as I can run in this game. It keeps saying run on all the baby blocks, but how am I supposed to run when it won't let me? All right, guys, I'm going up a pair of stairs and maybe this is the exit. I don't know. I don't know. It, this could be an obby that's really long because look at someone else is at stage 18 and I'm only at stage nine. So I think there's a lot more stages to try to escape this giant baby at daycare. Okay, there's two buttons. I pressed this one. Oh my gosh, that one made a giant baby come out. Oh, he's having a temper tantrum. Oh, poor baby. Oh, that's okay, baby. You'll be all right. I'm sorry I have to escape you, but I don't want to die. What? What's happening? I'm in outer space. Ah! Oh my God, the baby just swallowed me. Ew, gross. Oh no, guys. I thought maybe I died there because I was like going in outer space, but no, the baby was giant and it swallowed me. Oh my gosh, these actually sink. This is Ooh. bad news. Ah! Avoid burning lava. It's very dangerous and will kill you. Thanks for the expert tip. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, finally. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it through there. Now we have um, stomach acid, I think, which is gross. I don't want to touch that. This baby has booby traps in its stomach. That is pretty crafty, guys. Actually, that's like the slowest wipeout ever. And then I died at the end. <laughs> I'm embarrassed with myself right now. It does move really slow, though, so you can jump over it pretty easily. Wee! Beware of rolling green peas. What? Oh my gosh! They weren't kidding! <laughs> oh, what? All right, hopefully it spawns me right there. Okay, yes. All right, I gotta run, guys. I gotta run. I can't run any faster. I, how am I supposed to get past that part? I don't know. I guess I have to wait till the pea rolls by and then, um, okay, I'm gonna jump back up here. Then I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run like the wind, people. All right, where's the next pea? Ooh, there it is. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, am I gonna make it? I don't know. I'm moving so slowly. How do I even know? Okay, there. <sighs> I barely, barely made it, guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, another one's gonna come down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I made it. Whew, that was scary. I mean, not really. It was kind of just a knobby, but you know, if you get really involved in these games, you get like, oh, oh my gosh, I have to make it or I'm gonna die. Wait a minute, this is just Roblox. I'm not gonna die in real life. <laughs> OMG, I kind of stink at these, so I'm trying not to die here. Oh, good. Sometimes I fall down and then I have to start all over again and I'm like, ah, oh, that's so annoying. Okay, it looks like he's drinking green juice. Do I have to go on these? I think I do and not get hit by these. Because those are like slime, so I can't get hit by those and I can't go off the edge. And oh my gosh, this is just, this is, this part is really hard. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost made it too. Oh, I was so close. It's all right, I'm gonna do it this time. If it's the last thing I do, people. Wee, see, I did it, hooray! I'm so excited right now. Oh man, this is like baby breath. Yuck. Ooh, I went back down. Okay, hold on. Drop the celery and use these to build something. What am I building? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> oh my gosh. Build here. Oh, I'm making a bridge with the celery. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can I have peanut butter on it though? I only like to eat celery if it has peanut butter on it. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta drop a bridge here. And then I think I have to go back and take one with me. This could take a minute. I might have to even come back another time and build again. Okay, here, then here. And I think I have to go across here and build right there. Oh, yep, one more guys, one more piece of celery. This obby is really fun. If you guys would play this obby, slam that like button. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm almost to 100,000 subscribers, guys. And I've worked really hard uh, uh, to get to 100,000. Could you guys help me? Please become a subscriber. Oh my gosh, okay. Yes, finally, Wee! And I did all that to get flushed. Ew! Oh, am I out? I don't, I don't know, I think I just got flushed though. Whoa, super speed! Whew, let's try this this time. I think I can do it. Whoa, whoa, super speed. Oh my gosh, guys. Try, try to remember to breathe. It's essential for staying alive in the game. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Am I gonna make it? No, not in 
into the lava. Oh, that was so hard. Okay, let's try again because I'm not going to give up. I think I'm almost to the end of the game. I'm not really sure, but I think so. So I'm not going to give up this time, guys, or any time. I'm always going to complete the game. That's what makes you good at Roblox, right? I think um, when I'm running super fast, sometimes I forget that I can actually stop. <laughs> Uh-oh. Guys, this looks like an epic boss battle. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <sighs> okay, I can do this. It's just one baby, right? I mean, come on. Take the green pea launcher. Wait, where's the baby? Oh, there's not one baby. There's lots of babies. They keep coming. Oh my gosh. They're all different color clothes too. Like, look, this one's wearing a bib. Ah! No, that one was like right up on me. Oh my gosh, they're coming from everywhere. I didn't realize they were gonna be coming from everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, this time, I feel like if I could climb up one of these rocks, can you climb up one of these rocks? Let's test that out. Okay, you can guys, so that's good news. So I'm gonna take the pea launcher. I'm gonna go up onto a rock. I'm gonna see if I can survive up here better. Cause now I can see where they're all coming from. Okay, none have come out anywhere else yet. Ooh, what, what? Did one come from behind me? Um, Guys, I lost my head, so I'm gonna say yes. All right, maybe there's another place that's better. Maybe that far rock would be better because um, your back's like the wall or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can over there. Um, try not to die. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try really hard not to die. Ah! There's a baby already! How is there a baby on top of me already? Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna make it, guys. I feel like this baby has defeated me. This baby has definitely defeated me, I think. Oh, this is so hard. I wish Dan was here. He could take this baby down. All right, maybe I should take down like these babies and then run. <laughs> That's what I think I should do. I think I should run as fast as I can up onto this rock and then shoot the babies. Ah! Shooting them. All right, I need to get a different position so I can see where all these babies are. Oh, that's somebody else. I thought that was a baby like bouncing at me. I was like, what? No, you don't understand. There's too many babies. I can't get them all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Wait, where am I? Did I die? Oh, no, I died again, guys. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I just, I'm, I'm dying a lot, guys. A whole lot. This is a really hard ending. Okay, where's the babies? Oh, wait, there we, there we go. They just come from everywhere. Oh my gosh, no, there's more here. Oh my God, how do you kill all these babies? They're, oh my gosh, they're just everywhere. Go away, here, eat some peas. Oh no, guys, I died again. I don't know if I'm ever gonna win this game. OMG, I wonder if I can go into third person when I have the launcher. No, I can't. Okay, I think they give you these rocks to climb up, but you have to like keep running. Oh my gosh, here come some babies. Oh my gosh, there's babies Ooh. everywhere. One killed me from behind, and now my head is rolling on the ground. Look at me, guys. I'm like, ugh, I give up. All right, let's try this one last time. I think I can make it this time. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna win this time. I really do. Okay, I think there's gonna be another baby. Yes! You guys think you're gonna get me, but you're not gonna. Wait, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, more babies, more babies. Babies everywhere! Okay, I still have some time on those ones. Oh my gosh. Babies, babies. Are there more babies from over there? No, okay. Ah, get out of my face! <laughs> I have to get these babies and you're like right up against me. Oh my gosh, guys. I think I might actually win this time. I don't know. Don't quote me on that because I'm not really sure, but I think I might. I think I might right now. Yes, I won! Oh my gosh, that was the hardest ever. Wait a minute. It, oh, I can go. I can go now. Oh, yes. I'm going up these emerald stairs, and I think at the other end is going to be my reward. I'm not really sure, though. Wait, what's that? What's that? Is that... Wait, what's... Let's go? Where are we going? Okay, I think I can get rid of the green pea launcher. <laughs> it's like a big baby, like, cart or something. All right, I'm going to drive the baby car. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Oh, that is terrifying, but kind of funny. Ooh, this is a long ride to the end. I can't believe I beat that last boss because 
I was really struggling, but I I stuck with it guys and I'm going about to get my badge. I'm about to win the game. I'm very excited. Look at me. I'm at the end. I'm made of gold too. Wow. Fancy. Yes, I did it. I escaped that giant Bobby's daycare. I'm so excited. Teleport to the start no 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 no. thank you <laughs> that was hard enough the first time hey guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys are the best fans ever and i'll see you next time bye hey guys what's up it's me molly and today i came here to play need more cold but you guys ever like come to play a game and then you see games like this. Don't sniff it. <laughs> like seriously, there's this gross looking foot with two eyeballs and they're saying, don't smell the foot. I don't know. I just had to show you guys that because I think it's super funny. But now let's play Need More Coal. <laughs> yes, today is the day of the Ariana Grande. Concert. She's coming to our school. Mom won't let me go to school though, since I had a fever yesterday. <coughs> I should try convincing her to let me go to the school. La 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 la. Oh, there's the bathroom. Wrong way. <laughs> well, let's go out here then. Mom is probably down here. Mom. Ooh, is that ice cream? That looks delicious. Mom, uh, where's my mom? She's not cooking breakfast. Maybe she's, no. Oh, there's my mom. Wait, looks like a grandma. I guess that's my mom, though. Hey, mom, since I was the best, um, daughter ever, and I'm totally not sick, can I go to school? No, dear, you had a fever. <gasps> but, mom, are you sure? Check again. I don't have a fever now. I'm, I promise. 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. Says you have got a fever. Stay home. I gotta get colder somehow. How can I get colder? I know. Let's open up all the windows. <laughs> la, 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 la. Is this a window or is this like a portal to another dimension? Hard to know. Um, but let's go out into the other parts of the rooms and see. Oh, wait, there's a window. It was actually a portal to another room, another room, like another dimension. Just kidding. It's probably just a mirror. Okay, the garage door is already open. Why is the fireplace on? That's not gonna help. Mom has no um, windows in her bedroom. Your bedroom stinks, Mom. Yeah. And not because you ate a bean burrito last night. <laughs> wait, is that all the rooms? I think I. Okay, wait. And I have to go back and talk to Mom. Mom, I'm back. Hey again, Mom. What? Can you check my temperature again, please? Please? I think the thermometer is actually broken. 100.4. Yep, a bit less, but still a fever. Stay home. Well, I guess I need to try harder. Maybe I should try turning off the lights. Because that seems ridiculous. What does that have to do with it being hot? Okay, um... Maybe turn off the fireplace. How do I even turn off these lights? Ugh. Oh, no. I gotta find the light switch, I think, guys. Oh, wait. There's a light switch. Boop. And is there any over here? Okay. I only got one of seven. This is gonna take a minute. Many, many minutes later. Ew! There's brown water in the toilet! That's so gross. <laughs> Who made this game? Yuck! All right, guys, I only have one more light I didn't turn off. Where could it be, though? Oh, wait, what's that? That's not a light. Oh, yeah, okay, I turned it off. I don't even know how I did it, though. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, I'm back to talk to my mom again. Mom! Mommy! Mama! Mama, 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 Yes, dear? Um, well, uh, the temperature. Can you check it again, please? Please, 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 please! 93.2. You've still got a fever. What? Really? All right. 
How about if I turn off the heaters? Also, that's not a fever, but uh, I'm just the kid, so what do I know? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, that's not a heater, apparently. Oh, I think those little shiny yellow things on the floor are supposed to be heaters. Yeah, okay. Got it. That looks really weird. Like, why wouldn't they be red? I don't know, but they aren't. So, I figured it out anyway. Here's the heaters, guys. I'm going to turn those off. And I have one more I need to find. Uh, maybe it's in the bathroom. Nope! Where is that last one? Do you guys see it anywhere? Mom's following me around. Ah, Mom, why are you chasing me? Hmm, guys, I don't see it anywhere. It's not in the bathroom. I feel like this cannot be that hard, but I'm making it harder than it needs to be. Oh, they put it out here in the garage. The garage is heated. All right, now I gotta go back and talk to Mom again. Holy macaroni and cheese. Mom, I still believe that there might be a possibility of the thermometer being broken. For reals. And? So, could you check the temperature, please? 82.4, still a fever. Go back to sleep. Wow, still not letting me. All right then, how about turning on the fans? Hey mom, I turned on all the fans. I'm feeling so much better now. Um, oh, what are you doing here? I thought you went to sleep. Nope. But, Mom, wh what's wrong? Oh, nothing. 53.6. Seriously, though. Wally, stop bothering me. This is not good. What can make me extra cold? I mean, I don't even have a fever at this point. Oh, I know! The fireplace! Ah, as soon as I turned that off. What are you staring at? Go away. Whoa, harsh, Mom. Okay, fine. My mom's getting so annoyed with me right now. Take out the fire in the fireplace. Okay. Guys, I think I need to get some water from the sink or something. Okay, I put it out. See, the fire is out. Let's go talk to mom and drive her crazy again. Hey, mom, I'm back. Okay, mom, I'm certain now that I don't have a fever. Seriously. Let me check then. Okay, yes, ma'am. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When I was your age, my normal temperature was minus 2,000 degrees. Now go eat your breakfast. What? Oh my god, this mom has gone crazy, I think. All right, fine, let me go get something out and eat some breakfast. How could I eat my breakfast? Oh, this is my breakfast. <laughs> eat the ice cream. Mm. That seems like a good breakfast, right guys? Uh, it won't let me get in the refrigerator for something healthy. So, where would the rest of my breakfast be? No. No. I just want to eat more ice cream! Guys, I really don't know where my... Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I hope my breakfast isn't down there. It won't let me even do that, so... I don't think it's saying eat something out of the toilet. Ew! Mom, where's my other breakfast? There's only one breakfast, so I'm really confused by this right now. To eat the dog food or something? Um, no. Guys, where would my other breakfast be? Maybe it's like around back. Mom grilled me a cheeseburger for breakfast. Um, guys, there's definitely dynamite back here. And, um... That is not good. What is this? An old pool? Um, all right, I'm going out on the street. I don't know where I'm supposed to get extra breakfast. Bills to donate. Giant fans to stay chilly. Um, none of this looks like my breakfast. Maybe it's in the oven? Maybe it's in this... Oh, wait, is that a cup? Oh, I think I need to drink some water. Got it! Oh, that was a little challenging. But I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. Temperature! Check it! Right now! Minus 364 degrees Fahrenheit. Go sleep. 
Oh my god, I still need more coal! Oh wait, here we go. You have to be just right in the right spot. Is anything happening? Oh, yes! It worked, I'm getting in the pool. <laughs> now I should be super cool, right? Um, I hope. And I can walk fast again. All right, let's go talk to mom. Say, come on, take our temperature one last time. Who am I kidding? This isn't going to be the last time. Mother, please check my temperature. Please check the temperature. No. Wait, what? Mother, please! <laughs> Minus 544 degrees. This is still a fever. Stop wasting my time. Go to bed. But, but... You know what? I think there's a shop outside that has exactly what I need. I should go check. Ah, I don't even know where I'm going. How do I get out of here? All that jazz. Um, guys, where would I do that? Outside, maybe? What's this over here where you can buy money? Oh, that's a donate. I don't know how to pray to the almighty. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, there's where I pray. God, the almighty. I have come to thine for thine help. Is is God sleeping? God, wake up! Uh, who dares interrupt my sleep? Oh gosh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That that was me. What? Do you want? Uh, yeah, just some snow to make it cold. What? That would be really nice. Please? Yay! God answered my prayers. All right, it's snowing. It's freezing. Mom, there's still a probability that I that I don't have a fever anymore. Yeah, yeah, okay. Minus 3,604. Wow. You don't have a fever. Just kidding. Wait, what? You're kidding? I, I need more coal! Put a blanket over the sun. Oh my goodness. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Alright, where am I going to get this giant blanket from? Hmm. Guys, I'm looking for a giant blanket to put over the sun. Throw blanket. Ariana Grande needs me! This has to be done! Okay, gotta go faster. Need more coal! Need more coal! Need more coal! Okay, I'm still going faster. More! More! Okay, my arm's gonna fall off. But she needs me! Um, guys? I think I just put a blanket over the sun. Whoa! I still have to go back and talk to my mom. Pretty soon, I'm just gonna go to school and be like, "Sorry, I don't have a, I don't have a temperature." You have a minus, a minus. You, you don't actually have a fever. Well then, uh, go to school, I suppose. Yay! <laughs> I get to go to school. Wait for me, Ariana Grande! I'm coming! Oh, there's a school bus. Hooray! Why does it look like the Joker is driving me to school? Holy macaroni and cheese. Uh-oh. Good ending? Maybe? You got to meet Ariana Grande, but you froze planet Earth. Womp womp! <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed Need More Cold. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The first set of twins I've ever delivered oh. and they're perfectly healthy. Congratulations, mom and dad. Gee, thanks. I can't believe it. Twice the joy. And twice the trouble, honey. <laughs>
They are so identical, I can't even tell them apart, but that might not last forever, especially when they develop their own personalities. Like this one, for instance. She seems to cry more than the other one. Oh, I think they're perfect. They're so adorable, honey. Yeah, they really are. So what are you going to name them? We decided that this is Laura. And who's the baby I'm holding? That's Dora. Hi, Dora. Hi, Dora. Oh, no. Seems like Dora cries a lot. It's okay. She probably just needs a bottle. Daddy, 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 daddy. Yes, Laura, what is it? You've been saying my name a million times the last six hours. Well, your name is Daddy, so shouldn't I call you Daddy? Yeah, your name's Daddy. Can we watch TV? Can we watch TV? Can we watch TV? Your mom doesn't really want you watching TV. She said too much TV can slow your development. Well, we've been doing other stuff all day. Come on, Dad, let us watch TV, please. Please, please. Ugh. Okay, girls, just for a few minutes so I can relax. Yay! I like watching TV. I like watching TV. Ooh, I love this show. I don't like this show, Laura. I don't want to watch it. Girls, why don't we watch a little bit of the panda show, and then we can watch something you want, Dora. She always gets her way. It's not fair. I don't always get my way, Dora. You just get really grumpy sometimes. It's a part of your personality. What? No, it's not. I'm not grumpy. Uh, actually, Dora, sometimes you do get a little grumpy. <laughs> See, even Dad said so. Ugh, you're so annoying, Laura. I can't believe you're even my sister. I don't like you. Oh, uh, Dora. It's okay. She gets like this sometimes, Dad. Let's just watch TV and relax. They like her better than me. I just know it. I'm the hated child because, because sometimes I get grumpy, but I only get grumpy because Laura, my twin sister, is so annoying. Ugh, that's it. I'm going to be better than her at everything. <laughs> I'll show her and my parents who's the best twin of them all. I love to dance. I'm going to be the best dancer in the whole world. My parents are going to finally see that I'm the better twin, for sure. I may not be perfect now, but after I get a ton of dance classes, I am going to be the world's best dancer. I'm totally gonna win the school talent show. I am the most amazing dancer and performer in all of Brookhaven. Dora, come on, it's almost time for dinner. I'm practicing right now, Daddy. I have to win the holiday talent show at school. Well, you can practice more later, sweetie. It's time for dinner, come on, I made your favorite pizza. I'll be home. For Christmas, you can count on me. Oh, I wonder if I'm good enough at my singing to be in the school talent show. I want to sing for everyone, but I'm really nervous that I'm good enough. Come on, Laura. Pizza's going to get cold. Okay, Mom, coming. I'll have to think about this. If I'm actually good enough, I... I could maybe take home the prize money, and then I could buy my mom, my dad, and Dora all Christmas presents. Dora, aren't you going to eat some pizza? Yeah, I'm going to have like one slice, but mostly what I'm going to eat is this apple because I have to make sure that my body is super healthy because I'm going to win the school talent show. Well, maybe your sister Laura should, um, join. What? Me? <laughs> what could I possibly do at the talent show? Well, honey... You could use your singing voice. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play silly with us, honey. We know that you sing in the bathroom when you think no one's listening. Seriously? I'm horrified that you guys heard me. I'm so embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed, honey? I think that maybe you could actually win the school talent show. 
No, she couldn't. What are you guys talking about? I'm going to win the talent show. Don't you know? I'm the best dancer ever. Oh, honey, I, I didn't mean to upset you. That's not what I meant. I meant that Laura has a shot at winning, too. Yeah, honey, you should support your sister. And Laura, you should support your sister. I can't believe you guys were listening to me sing while I was in the bathroom. Well, you sing pretty loud, honey. It's kind of not our fault. No, come on. Eat some pizza. Yeah, honey, eat your pizza. Dora, you too. All of a sudden, I'm not feeling very hungry. Or maybe it's just that I don't want to eat with you guys. Uh -oh. What's got into her? I don't know. You know Dora. Ever since she was born, she has a grumpy streak. She sure does. Well... Let's hope both of our girls decide to be in the talent competition. I'm going to practice even more, even harder than I ever did before. Maybe now they'll see that I'm amazing and the better twin. I mean, look at my dance moves. I'm amazing. I don't know why they can't see it. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Dora, I'm sorry to interrupt your practice, but I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling like you're really sad about what happened at dinner. I'm not sad, I'm just astonished because I'm amazing and I'm not sure why none of you can see it. Dora, you're my twin. Of course I can see that you're amazing. By the way, what'd you do with your hair? Why'd you make it part brown? I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. Plus, you know, we don't have to look identical to each other. We're teenagers, we can have our own personality. Whatever, I don't know why you wouldn't want to look exactly like me. I'm the coolest in all of Brookhaven. Um, okay, Dora, I just want to be myself a little bit, look a little different so I have my own personality. Whatever, your personality is not as good as mine. Dora, that's rude to say. And I don't think you should join the talent show either. What? Well, why not? Mom and Dad think I'm good at singing. Well, that's because they're just trying to be nice to you, Laura. You're actually a terrible singer. <gasps> Wait, you think I'm terrible yeah rotten awful you should just think about well working at the bank or something when you graduate because you're never going to be a singer or maybe you could get a job at mcdonald's then you could walk there what i i well i i love singing yeah in the bathroom mirror you haven't been practicing at it like i have for years and years wait but you're not a singer you're a dancer well, I'm just saying, with my dance, I've been practicing for years, which makes me the best at it. And you haven't been practicing at your singing for, like, any amount of time. And also, you're just terrible at it. Um, okay, well, thanks for telling me the truth. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's just the way that it is. Laura, where are you going? Laura, I just need to buy by myself. <laughs> Olivia! Olivia! Oh, hey, Laura. What are you doing out here? What do you mean, what am I doing out here? Well, you should be backstage getting ready to sing. What? No. I'm just here supporting my sister, Dora, because she's going to be um, in the Christmas uh, talent show, and and I, I want her to win, of course. But you're performing, right? What? Olivia, what are you talking about? Laura, we've been best friends since preschool. I know that you love singing and you're good at it. No, I'm not. My sister says I'm terrible at it. Wait, what? Your sister told you were terrible at singing? You're not terrible at singing. Yeah, I am. Olivia, you don't have to be nice to me just because you're my friend. No, seriously, Laura, you're really, really good. You need to be there. Performing. Making everyone cheer. Sorry. Not this time, Olivia. I just need to support Dora. Well, um, sorry, Laura, but I sort of signed you up. <gasps> what? You did what? Sorry, but I just thought maybe you would get cold feet, and I didn't want you to chicken out. You need to do this, Laura. You were born for the stage. But, 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 stop making excuses and get back there and, and wow, everyone. Oh my gosh, Olivia. Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My first performance ever. Well, I mean, besides staring at myself in the mirror, that is. What are you doing back here? Are you here to congratulate me on winning first place? What? The talent show hasn't even started yet, Dora. 
Yeah, but we all know that my dancing is going to blow everyone's minds. And I'm going to win that prize money. And then I'm probably going to put a down payment on a new car. Maybe a Ferrari. Uh, it's only $500. <laughs> you can't put money down on a Ferrari with only $500. <laughs> Dora, math was never really your strong subject at school, was it? Don't make fun of me, Laura. I'm not. I'm just saying. You, you can't buy a car for $500. Well, maybe some car. I mean, it would probably classify as a car because it would have wheels and stuff, but it's not going to be a Ferrari. So if you're not back here to congratulate me, then why are you back here, Laura? The most perfect twin. I'm not perfect, Dora. That's right, you're not. And tonight's going to prove that. Well, I'm actually here because I'm going to sing. Wait, what? No, you're not. I told you already, you're awful at singing. Well, I know you said that, but my best friend, she signed me up and she said I'm amazing. And, and, and I, I think, I think, what do you think? Pfft, you're not nearly as good as I am at anything. You're terrible at singing. Why are you so mean to me? I'm your twin sister. We should be, well best friends. No, never, never, ever, ever. And now we need Laura out on stage to perform I'll Be Home for Christmas. Good luck, Laura. You are going to stink. Oh no, I'm feeling kind of nervous. I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can. Ah! And there goes our contestant right out the front door. Oh no, she chickened out! Laura? Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles for some people who have terrible stage fright. On to our next talent show contestant. This one I'm very excited to be announcing because she has been a dancer since she was practically a baby. Let's put our hands together for Dora! Wow, she's really good! Yeah, I think she's gonna win first place. Let's hear it for Dora! Okay, Dora, your, your time's up. You have to let others perform in the talent show. Whatever! I am so good, I'm gonna perform for the entire time! Dora, seriously, get off the stage! Okay, fine, whatever. Wow, this talent show is amazing! Whoa! Large Marge, I didn't even see you there! Did you take a break from making school lunches? You never take a break. Yeah, I finished up making some sauerkraut sandwiches as a snack for everybody after the talent show, so I figured I'd catch a little bit of it. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to eat a sauerkraut sandwich. Sounds delicious. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I'm a princess, and I've been to so many celebrity shows, but I can't get over how amazing Dora is. She's definitely going to win this competition. And the winner is, drumroll please, Dora for her amazing dancing style. Thank you, thank you everyone. I'm going to use this $500 to buy, um, I don't know, I was going to buy a car. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to buy, but I'm going to buy something for myself because I'm amazing. And now I hope that everyone in Brookhaven sees that I'm the better twin. ha 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 ha.